I swear I will not. I waive all stuff. It's mutually agreed contract. Do it no, for the family. So I right. want to hear the Listen, family's on Alex, just give it a look. Alex, slap. no, 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 Alex. <laughs>be honest, I don't really have anything to talk about just because of the guests today. Literally, like, I can't, we've, I can't we've wait. We've been prepping so hard yeah. that I haven't lived anything else. Besides, all I want to talk about is Clockwork Elves, Harp, MK Ultra, and fucking DMT. Yep. Yeah. All right. I Welcome back to Impulsive. Yeah, we're just going to get right into it. The number one podcast in the world. Statistical fact. Thank you guys for listening, Science. watching, viewing, wherever you listen, watch, view podcasts. We do an extended audio QA with the guest after the visual is done on Spotify and iTunes. So catch us there. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I think we just hit 1.4 million subscribers. Kind of dope. Like it was nothing. Kind of dope. <clears throat> so yeah, man, it's a, it's a big one today. Possibly the biggest. Mm. This one, this one might, might hopefully gets a little loco. Uh, you want to come on in over here? I got a, I got a controversial guest, guys. Actually, I, th- I got controversy. Like, literally the definition of controversy. He is the most banned person in the 21st center- wow. century. He's a right-wing conspiracy theorist and actually has been endorsed by Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. It's Alex Jones! Well, it's good to be here with Woo! you guys. Very good vibe going on in here. Woo! Shit, dude. I can't believe this. Holy this shit. This is going to be good. I Alex. like it. Very good vibe here. Alex Jones. Very nice. What's is that the- what you expected? What, what did you expect coming in here? I don't know what to expect. Uh, I mean, I just know that you guys are super popular. been hearing about you for years. And I've seen how they try to restrict your free speech, which is a bunch of bull, and try to misrepresent what you do. And so it's just uh, you know good to be here and actually see the real McCoy. Yeah, man. It's happening. Fucking, and you got that badass big man over there. Evan! Let's go! So so come, sit up, come right over here and see me. Go on. <laughs> Almost, <laughs> I'm going to go grab him and bring him over here. My beat nah, me Evan's tough, bro. Yeah. Evan, Evan's I tough. believe you'll punch me right in the... He might. Right in the dick. What you got in the cup, Alex? Uh, I've got some of this uh, water you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go, Alex, you, you need anything? You want any water or anything? He goes, hard liquor. I'm like, all right, I got you. I'll join you. Speaking of which, where is that? Uh, is it around? I like the little sweater it's wearing. <laughs> well, this is a free fucking a, brand plug. I- now nah, we got we got to make our own vodka. I feel. You like want to hear the joke? One of the first interviews I ever did was that guy when they legalized in Texas your own distilleries. And so the guy that owns that, it's, it's made in Austin. Yep. He literally, like one of the first interviews he did, one of the first shows I ever did was, okay, there's a guy that's making vodka, uh, just got legalized, you can have him on. And so now it's one of the biggest brands in the world. And people think it's like made in uh, Serbia or something. It's made in Texas. Austin, Texas. Yep. Titos. Beautiful, beautiful city. You yeah. find that vodka at InfoWars.com. You're I'm lying, bro. Joking. Hey, hey, no. Hey, listen, what can't you find at InfoWars.com? Can I, can I ask you something? I just want to dive right into just it. Get, just dive listen, into it. Listen, you've been deplatformed. You've been silenced and you've been ridiculed. What is it like being Alex Jones? It's awesome. It's I mean, dope. It's, oh my God. Once they made me the supervillain, like when the new Godzilla movie's coming out, everybody wants the big multi-headed ad- the dragon. That's the cool thing. And that's you. So, which I'm not, but they've turned me into this, this devil. And then once you're deplatformed off of hundreds, everything from Spotify to iTunes to YouTube to wherever, they, people can then attack you and say whatever they want or edit it and you can't respond. So it's not just that you're not on there. It's the craziness everybody piling on. But the internet has really woken up in the last nine months since it got deplatformed. And they get the underdog thing and are now actually coming to Infowars.com or Newswars.com. They're actually hearing what I say, what I do, not the little short edits. And so it's actually uh, had a big backlash we found. I hate to even kind of say this because the system will just come after me more, but th- what they've done has really backfired. And so- uh, on, on them. I, or, all I know or is- on you. Who's it backfired on? Well, I mean, it's rough. If I go out in liberal or leftist areas, they scream, F you Russian agent, F you uh, this or that, and try to physically attack me. I have to have security. But other than that, I get a hundred times more love. So, so it's not fun, yeah. but it's kind of the animating contest of liberty. It is exciting to have people hunting you. Uh, so, I mean, it's just exciting to be in this war and to- have them trying to totally kill the fires of free speech and liberty. But again, I'm on over 250 radio stations and I'm on a bunch of TV stations and I'm on websites, but you're right. When it comes to the internet and viral spread of things, I am unpersoned uh, other than the attacks. And, and, And it's still just relentless attacks constantly because you do have one of the biggest shows in the world. Nobody can doubt that, if not the biggest. I, at that time, had the biggest, but I was getting voters, not just young people, which is very important for the future. I was getting 
registered voters to flip from Democrat to Republican, and they looked at the demographics, I had 87 million different IP addresses hit our audio and video streams mm-hmm. on my site election week. And so once that wow. happened, they went from ignoring me to we've got to destroy this guy. Who, so they, who's they? When you say uh, the, they. the big law firms, the big think tanks, the Republican leadership and, and the Democratic leadership who, who, who don't want populists getting in. Uh, Hillary Clinton gave speeches and said he's got to be stopped. Uh, all these senators, you can pull them up like uh, Blumenthal and Murphy said to save America, we must take Alex Jones off the air uh, and all the rest of this garbage because they actually <clears throat> went post-mortem when Hillary lost had their statisticians and experts look into what really happened and they found that th- a third of Trump's support that took him way over the top was my listeners. So they said, well, he's got to be destroyed. So the first they took all my sponsors that first year. Uh, they can, did a can bunch. I, of, can I give some context? Yeah, I'm for, sorry, I'm yelling. Screaming. No, it's all no, good. good. I just want to give some context. It's a long for, story. It's a, yeah, I, well, it's a, it's a long sort of complex process. Uh, for those of you who do not know, Alex was, uh, he was banned from YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tell me when to stop. TikTok? You got a TikTok account? Or no, my kids, well, don't too? say that. They'll probably take it. I think my kids have one. <laughs> right. But but I mean, I mean, you're talking about all those Roku, um, I, I mean, you name it, uh, uh, Discuss. You said 100 platforms. It, it, like like Discuss. Uh, well, just the commenting section said you can't do it. Uh, PayPal, uh, six other banks we were using wow. uh, said no. That No one even knew who they were, but the banks knew and dumped us. You know, I had perfect credit rating. I mean, I have to go back over it all. It was just... It was software companies were reviewing and threatening to sue us. So why not? Why not? Why not back down for a second so you have the outlet? And I think I know the answer to the question, but why not back down for a second so you have the outlet that has the built-in audience for you to tell your story and your narrative? Why stick to your guns and then get essentially deplatformed everywhere? Here's what I learned. That's a very good question. I never calculated anything. And going back about two and a half years ago, when this, you know, when Hillary lost the election. They would say, hey, just apologize for this or apologize for that. And I would look back on this huge spectrum of millions of things I'd done. They would blow up this one little thing and make it who I was, like I've done to you. Mm -hmm. And and you're doing something in the moment. It's fun, whatever. And then they twist it. And I'd say, okay, I'm sorry. That's not what they wanted. As soon as I said I was sorry, then I was guilty. And then I'm always on this apology tour. So I actually tried to back down. They didn't let me. They don't let you back down. I, 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 I saw one thing that you said to Joe about uh, the media taking the story and running with it. Like you've had these kind of, these these mess ups in the past, but the media won't let you get over it, right? And they continue to push that story. Do you, do you think, do you ever feel responsible for starting the file, fire or are you more angry at the media for fanning the flames of it? Would That's a really good question. I, I did everything I've done of a good heart, not trying to hurt anybody. And because we've been lied to about WMDs, we've been lied to like Jesse Smollett, we've been lied to about Russiagate, we've been lied to about so many things, people just get to where they have to question everything. And and so 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 then the media doesn't want people questioning. So they basically took things I did out of context to create the perception that, look, we're destroying him, you better not question. So I just got chosen by the corporate media to be made an example of. It's. It, it, I think the issue lies uh, in the opinion that some people are saying you're spreading fake hate, fake news, conspiracy theories, which c- can get dangerous because I agree, question everything. But at what point are you questioning everything and not accepting fact? Because I know you fell into that trap um, or not not trap, but you've you've uh, alluded to it in the past, especially with the Sandy Hook. Thing, oh, there's which no is, doubt. Which is, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, look, here's the deal. You've had the New York Times knowingly lie about WNDs in Iraq and it ended up killing over 2 million people. <laughs> Madeleine Albright, the Secretary of the State at the time, went on 60 Minutes. You can pull it up. Madeleine Albright says 500,000 kids, a good price to pay for victory in Iraq. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't kill 500,000 kids. She's bragging that, she, that, that that's a good thing. I haven't killed one kid, but I am the devil. They probably had, no exaggeration, 100 major newspapers last week, cover stories saying, I'm the devil. I was bad to question Sandy Hook. I wasn't the original guy to question Sandy I, Hook. I, it's not, I don't think they're saying you're the devil. Just the, the thoughts that sometimes that you uh, implant in people's minds, whether they're just seeds for now, can <clears throat> grow to become something dangerous. Well, absolutely. That's the thing about, that's like Judas Priest got sued because they had the song Beyond the Realms of Death back in the 80s. And some kid got depressed and blew his head off with a shotgun. And they said, your song, that's like saying, 
Romeo and Juliet, going back to Shakespeare's time, it was so powerful that some women particularly would go hang themselves mm -hmm. because they, they heard that love story and it touched them so much. So should we ban Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're being lied to so much and then people have to question something, and then that causes some problems. That's just the nature of the world. Getting in your car, motorcycle, and going on the road, you could die. You could kill somebody else. You're not trying to. Nothing's perfect. And so anybody that says, you know, we've got to sit there and control somebody's speech, unless you're saying go to somebody's house and kill them, that's a call to action. That's illegal. But if I want to say the moon is made out of cheese. Cottage cheese. Which it, which it might be. Which it may be. I mean, if I want to say <laughs> that you're a 14 trillion year old lizard from planet pop -Tart, Which I might be. He, which, he, he definitely is. Yeah, I believe that. Too. I have a right to say that. And people have to then make a judgment about whether it's true. But what I'm saying is I barely ever covered Sandy Hook. And so they then made it all about me and started saying, Alex Jones, Sandy Hook, he's sending people to their houses, he's harassing them. When I, I've, I've been sued over this, so I have the depositions, I've looked at the documents. We covered it like 20 times on air, did like segments on 20 shows over, over like the first three, four years. Barely, barely covered that. I've probably done 200 segments, 500 <laughs> segments on AOC or something. Other people were talking about it. They then make it my identity. I go, oh, that's not me. Fine. I think kids died. Mass shootings happened. I was just questioning as the internet did. They go, no, you're the Sandy Hook guy and you're sending people to their houses and you won't stop. So now they use, quote, my fame or whatever well, you, to reboot Sandy Hook constantly you, to where all I ever do is talk about Sandy Hook instead of, which is their tactic, the chemtrails, the human animal hybrids they admit are going on. Uh, the fact that cancer rates are up 3,000 plus percent. The fact that autism is up 30 plus thousand percent. The fact that all this real crap's going on, man. 50 years ago, no kids had cancer. Scientists would fly across the country to see a kid that had cancer. I can walk to the mall now and walk 100 yards and see a couple kids with cancer. That's the big news. Not the big bad Alex Jones question Sandy Hook, which I'm happy to talk about. I get they've written literally a hundred. They've written over a thousand articles that have been syndicated over a hundred thousand articles. We had a, a Lexus Nexus Thompson Reuters analysis done two months ago. Hundreds of thousands of repost articles, <coughs> hundreds of national TV shows, over 15 national specials about me and Sandy Hook. And Megyn Kelly interviewed me for six hours, edited it down to three minutes, where something from an hour before would be edited with an answer from an hour later, where it had no intelligible connection to reality. Just That's what's context, so beautiful. Yeah. This is live. This is real. I told Megyn Kelly, Sandy Hook <laughs> happened. I believe kids died. If it hurt people's feelings that I questioned it and the internet did, I apologize. She edited it to say that I said no kids died, that's gonna be in the lawsuit. Yeah, that's called clickbait, my friend. She, she and then they sued me for her edits. Yeah, you fucked up. That woman is yeah, because we recorded it. <laughs> the point is, we're gonna we're getting the video though. We're getting it from NBC, and we are gonna shove it up their ass. Put it right up you in there. Goddamn lying whore. <laughs> Excuse Woo. me, Ax. I want to I want to talk. God, about that pisses me off. Yeah, that's that's a good seriously. I want to give you. I feel that. Uh, I want to give you a little preface really quick. I I am I'm from Connecticut. So I was in Norwalk, Connecticut, which is about 25 minutes from Newtown when Sandy Hook happened. Um, I was I stayed home from work that day and I watched the news as it started to pour in. And I still get a horrible pit in my oh, stomach, yeah. bro. It hasn't gone away. Uh, a teacher by the name of Victoria Soto. Try to save the kids. Tried, tried to protect and saved a, a good number of kids. Hero. Her family lives down the street from me in Milford, Connecticut, my, from my mother now. Um, two weeks ago, Jeremy Richmond, the father, the head of the, the parents Minnesota association, side. killed himself. Terrible. Um, I, you've apologized, but, but I think the question is, how do you get to a place where you start to question something like that? Does that, does that then question your competency and your uh, deservingness to have a platform and the amount of power you have. This is just a question. So I think, you know, the saying with great power comes great responsibility, Spider -Man. right? And so you mentioned a lot of artists and a lot of people and other people talking about things with small syndications, you have a large platform. And so just like Logan got attacked for his misdoings because of the size of his platform, your reach is what puts you in harm's way. Oh, I agree. I'm being way more, no, no, I've made mistakes, but what I'm saying is they weren't conscious. And here's what I used to do. I didn't realize how big the show was even seven years ago. I mean, I thought, oh, well, everybody has like 5 million radio listeners a day and everybody has like 20 million YouTube viewers. That was like back then, you know, every week. So hey, I was like, th oh. those are real numbers, by the way. That was back then. Yeah. Can, yeah. can you give me, you, I, I, I read somewhere you had 5 billion views. And on your uh, on your YouTube well, that was page, just one channel. We had a button that was all, yeah. We had like 
I never looked it all up. The point it was, we, we had like massive. I, I had YouTube executives that came out in the news just last week that YouTube was going to tailor stuff kind of for our algorithm. I had them come to me like six, seven years ago. And I had to, anyway, the point is, is that they're like, well, don't want to just swing in the dark. We're going to help you, blah, blah, blah. But I never really went with that model. But they said, we want you kind of like Joe Rogan does with Bent Pixels to monetize everyone because they said, you're the biggest political commentator on YouTube. You have three times the views of the Young Turks not on your channels. You have half the views on your channels. If you'll let us monetize everyone. And I was kind of dumb. I didn't understand that. I thought maybe they're going to take their channels down. No, they were just going to monetize it. I said, no. And then Google got pissed parent company. Uh, and, you know, I was talking about the vice president of, of YouTube, which I'm sure you guys talk to all the time because I know you're up, you're up there at the top, but, but that's how that works. And I was just still myself, still kind of so paranoid that I thought, oh, they'll just want other people sharing my stuff. This is a trap. Now the documents have come out. It wasn't a trap. And YouTube was trying to marry me and I didn't let them do it. Uh, but the point is, is that, yes, they, they said six, like five, six years ago, they said, you have over 15 billion views on other people's channels that we know of in just the last few years. And, and they said back then, you've got 5 billion views on your channels. Okay, so it grew a lot more after that. I never really tracked it. And so they said, we want to work with you. And I just never did it. I want I want to, I want to, Rewind a second to the, the, the basis of Mike's question was where, how did you get to a place where you were questioning the events that took place at Sandy Hook? The anomalies. Okay. Well, this is a really good, very good question because I said in the deposition from being sued like a month ago, that they weren't even supposed to release. <laughs> like they still did it. It's even in the video. They go, we agree will not be released. And then they release it. Just they do whatever they want because they know that, oh, well, it's the, they got the Sandy Hook kids to use. That's the lawyers. Not the parents are good people. So they can do whatever they want. They just break the rules. And we're in the meeting and I say, it's, it was almost like a form, almost like a form of psychosis that I'm being honest. It's the only weapon I have. So I'm really truthful is that, is that I look back to like seven years ago when the internet, our first couple of weeks was, he's probably on Prozac, shoot him up video games. Uh, you know, it's all black trench coats. You know, it's always the same MO of these shootings. Don't blame guns. Then the internet rejected it because they're sick of being blamed for what a crazy person does. Can you fill in that, the internet, just a little bit? What do you, what do you mean by that? Because well, I, was, I was on the internet no, 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 I mean, I get it. A large portion, there were videos like getting 10 million views a day that other people made. Mm -hmm. But 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 do you, you always have the the non-believers and the doubters. So, sure. So, so what why, I'm saying is there was a large saying, portion. You're, you're saying a large portion, and I I am going to disagree with you and say I don't. That's because they censored all that. Off. I don't think it was a large portion. I think it was a a, a minority that seems like a majority because they're the only ones being vocal, vocal about a situation. They're more yeah. vocal. That's a good point. I'm just going back to my state yeah, of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That doesn't mean I'm right. You're right. But here's what I'm saying. I'm sitting there, the internet, a large port, what looked like a large portion of the internet is saying this didn't happen. So we just analyzed devil's advocate, different segments of it. That is our free speech right. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any heat for it at the time. Years later, they go, oh, this guy's really big. How do we get him? Well, this is like the worst thing he's done. So we'll just blow this. Imagine a Final Cut Pro editing timeline. Thousands of cuts every day, things you've done. Uh, you know, you go to the Japanese forest once, it, turn, you know, it turns into your life. They zoom into this one thing and then they explode it up where it's this huge mountain and it's everything you've done. And then I do this apology tour trying to explain it and it only makes it bigger. Uh, I mean, I guess like Kevin Hart or something because it just never stops. It just always go back to it. But let me tell you where the mindset was. I was talking, I mean, back at the time about Gulf of Tonkin's declassified. It's declassified 10 years ago that our government staged attacks, shot some rockets at our own ships, not close, to officially launch the Vietnam War in 1964 mm -hmm. in the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution. Okay, uh, the Nazis launched World War II. Anybody can search engine this. Cyclopedia Britannica, Operation Himmler. Yep. And they attacked their own military bases on the border with Poland and then Czechoslovakia <laughs> to roll the tanks in. They even killed real people dressed up as German soldiers. They put prisoners in German so uh, uniforms, kill them. Blackwoods, um, all that. Blackwoods as well. North... Yeah. Northwoods. Northwoods, sorry. Yeah, Northwoods. Northwoods. There's just a, thousands of these. Yep. You've got the Israelis admit the Levon affair. They blew up a hotel and blame it on their enemies. I'm not blaming Israel. This is what governments do. Okay. Uh, the Kennedys said no to Operation Northwoods, which was to hijack jets, crash them, bomb U.S. military bases, shoot up people at movie theaters in the U.S. and say that Russian-backed Cubans had done it to back an invasion of Cuba. Uh, Kennedy said no to that, but he green-lighted Bobby uh, bombing the U.S. Embassy in Honduras mm -hmm. to launch an attack there, but then Kennedy decided not to do that as well. But that was green-lighted. So I can give you 1990, the head of a PR firm. This is all admitted now. 
uh, like an 18 year old girl says she's 12. She goes before Congress. She says, I was there. They took babies out of incubators and bashed their brains out. Saddam Hussein. None of that was true. Okay. Not defending Saddam Hussein. That's what happened. That launched that war. Then they lied about WMDs. Then they lied about all the rest of it. Where, where are you going with this? Yeah, what, were the, is, is it, what were the anom anomalies for Sandy Hook oh, in particular itself. Itself. that drove you to start to question it? Sure. I'm telling you the mindset sure, of sure, seeing I, all sure. this stage stuff. I, yep. I also I also want to say like uh I, I understand what it's like to try and uh validate a mindset in the past given the given the mental shift mm -hmm. and it's it's not fun and it's it's uh it's difficult. So I, I to be honest, um this this sort it's it sort of uninterests me because like if Just if I'm if I'm off. gonna be a human being for a second and, and uh stand by my morals and the things I say, like I would like to forgive, forgive you and for give you sure. a second chance and talk about your your future, you know, uh, things that matter from here on out. But are, are you, I mean, is that accurate? Is that just yeah, because no, I, I, we, we can talk about the past for as no, long as we want, I don't, I, as I, long as we want. And people have done it with him. He's been very, you've been very open about what those anomalies were. I think it's easily searchable on the internet. You're I don't not think doing I, this. I, You're not doing this, but Megan Kelly, this is live. Yeah. Megan Kelly, I said, I believe it happened. I apologize. People have a right to question, but I apologize because I ended up meeting people that I knew and respected that knew the families and said, no, dude, it's real. That was like three plus years ago because some of the research I found out were nuts. Yeah. Okay. And then people go, well, what are the anomalies? Then I give them what I thought of the anomalies. She edited it together and I was sued for it. Context. I mean, but, yeah. but, 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 but also like, I know you're not doing right that. Never. So, like, Never. You understand? I've been yeah. told by lawyers, do not talk about the anomalies because they edited it again. And I'm being sued by some people. I've never said their name. So let's, so let's not do that. I guess the one, what I was trying to do was trying to, at a, at a higher level, try to understand when it comes to these conspiracy theories, is there a point where you say, yo, this one's off fucking limits? This is what happened. Exactly. About six years ago or so, people started saying I was Bill Hicks. And they already started saying I was like uh, Bo Bridges. Oh, I, I, yeah, saw I saw this. That I actually too. saw yeah, this. And yeah. let me, I, I've had people like on the street. They say you're controlled opposition. Reprogrammed, whatever. Exactly. You've yeah. heard of like. Because um, you look like this dude. A little bit. But. Uh, they, they they said you you are this this guy right I, and I, but mind you I don't know anything about this guy. Hold on a second, I just thought of something. He is this guy? No, he brought up on his show that you look oh, like. Oh yeah, a, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? Like that? Yo, Alex, that's so fucked up. You said it looked like. A, what was his Dude. name? You said Dude, it looked like a child around. molester. Listen, what's his name? I said it was a joke. No, no, no. I you have, hit on it four times. I have <laughs> never. What's his name? Like this guy. It's kind of like when Charles Barkley met uh, Jimmy, Jimmy met Kevin Brady. He's like, you know, I'm not gay, but this guy's really handsome. Logan Paul's pretty handsome over here in person. Yeah. I yeah, have, as soon as you see him in person, it's a different yeah, story. I got my person, hair dyed. Like, I'm, you know, I got my hair dyed. Happens. A little blonde. <laughs> Alex, yep. I have never laughed oh, what the so <laughs> fucking hard, Look, dude. Yo, and you're just rolling this picture in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> I thought it was Are pretty- Are you secretly like Jimmy Savelle? Son? I thought it was pretty accurate. Jimmy nah. Savelle clone. So, yo, for, again, context. Uh, we had we had <laughs> Kate, Caitlin Bennett, the Kent State Gun Girl, on the show, and she what? She worked for Infowars. You're, she, you're, oh, here's the deal. She does her own private stuff, and then when she does, she does some stuff for us, which I'm super proud of her work. I just don't want to get her deplatformed saying she works for me. I feel like she's close, man. <laughs> I know I nothing I about her. Not, I know nothing. Not, <laughs> nothing. We tried. We tried to. Uh, we we tried to talk her. Down, dude, look at you're right there. Uh oh, no. Look at that, dude. dude that's a <laughs> that's, spitting fucking image. Dude. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> that's fucked up. Bro. Damn. By the way, that's not a conspiracy theory. It. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, but okay. So, Alec, you 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 did like a you did like a uh, a review of our podcast with with Caitlin Bennett, Gun Girl. And, what'd you, uh, what'd you, you said I look like a pedophile, so no problem. <laughs> I don't think you look like a pedophile. I said you look well, like that's what Jim you said. <laughs> I said you. No, no. <laughs> what, you look like yeah, Jimmy Seville. I'm not gonna punch you nah, because, you because of assault. You should. Come on, just give me right here. It's not assault. I, give him a little. I, give him a little something. Give me back for it. I don't think you look. Like no, give him something. Give him something. Nah, because it's like it's sued. He makes a lot of money. I know he signed the. He signed the. He signed the NDA. Yeah, he signed the form. Oh, 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 oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. Big shot. Oh, shit. Alex Jones. Can we bring a doctor oh, in? God. Oh, shit. 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 O
So what's oh, it, going. What, what's it like uh, battling with all those lawsuits and like you got another one? You got right? a lot, bro. You got, you've you been got sued, sued by, by a frog. frog today. You've been sued by a frog. Do you bro. even know this yet? No. Uh, it's Surprise. all over the internet. Surprise, motherfucker! You got sued by a frog. It's all over the internet right now. You've been sued by a fucking frog, dude. A conspiracy frog named Pepe. Pepe. You know this motherfucker? Oh, well, that happened like a year and a half ago. Uh, Read the best part about Alex Jones. 159 page d- deposition about Pepe the frog. And this is you. Being sued by a frog. No, no, I know. It's totally insane. Here's what happened. Hillary came out and said that Pepe was a Nazi. She's the one that said he's a Nazi. And so the guy- The frog. The frog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guy that supposedly created it- Definitely looks like he could be. He could be a Nazi. I mean, mean, the guy that supposedly created it, uh, in Fury, he lives here in town. He told the Daily Dot and a bunch of other stuff, use it. It's open, free to use, everything. He sues people if they put it on their website. So we get some art, we sell at Infowars.com. A guy goes, I made this poster of symbols of the 2016 election. The frog's like a little bitty thing up here in the corner. He's saying we can't paint that and sell it. Now, they wanted to settle for nothing. They just wanted to say, oh, I settled. BS. I've spent 10 times what they wanted to settle for fighting them, and I'll keep fighting them because I fight every damn one of these BS things. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> they just saw all the Sorry, it fired me I got up. sued over a year and a half ago over this. They just saw the attention the last deposition got. So they uh, saw this and released this to just yeah. Now is this the the gay frog that you were talking about? No, this is not the atrazine gay frogs. By the way, you pull up major universities, folks. And I'm not against gay people. The point is is that atrazine artificially it, uh, demasculates men, it overfeminizes women uh, and causes cancer. <laughs> and where and, is at, that found? Where is the uh at, at Whatever you're saying. Atrazine is basically in all of our tap water. It's in everything. We're just inundated in it. So, so you believe Don't that- believe me. Don't believe me. I was covering like 10 years ago uh, a Berkeley study and then a South African study and a UT study going, wow, look, almost all the frogs don't now want females. They want to have sex with males who don't produce eggs so that frogs are dying. And I said, it's making the freaking frogs gay. Well, hold on a second. And, now what? and then they go, sorry. And then you no, sued by a frog. No, no, I want to say and this. And now I'm sued by a frog. To your point, and this is what I fucking hoped would happen. I hope you would come on the show and we would find sim- solid ground to stand on together because we just talked about a study a couple of weeks ago where male sexual activity was down. Hold Dropping. on a second. Apples and oranges, guy. What are you saying? That's just Netflix. What are you, Netflix and, and Fortnite. Man, what are you yeah. saying? But he's, still, he's we're not- saying the government puts chemicals in water that is turning people more feminine? Is that- Well, here's the deal. I've and, to, and, and with that There's same, a lot of plastics you can produce that don't have bisphenol A that's similar to atrazine. Yep. You notice like if you go to Target or wherever now, all the stuff's glass because mom's figured it out. Most plastics leach- but you can do a different process that it costs the same amount of money. They ch- they chose a plastic to be the unified standard in the West that causes breast cancer. What's that it causes called? sterility. What's it, what's it called? Bisphenol A. Okay. Uh, B A. I, I have a I have a type in oh, atros- I see, I see. and frogs. You'll get uh, German, uh, Japanese, uh, U.S. universities. I have a I have a more basic question, but I'm curious. Basic ass. Um, <laughs> just for people who might like not really be into all this information, like why, who, and why would people come after us as just people living life to attack us or to harm us or to put products in our lives that are killing us? That's like, a great question. Why? Um, why did Hitler do it then? So you could take over the world. There's people power. that want power, and 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 you know, here's the deal. If you can control humanity, there's there's no more wars. So the Carnegie Endowment, via the British Royal Institute of International Affairs, developed a plan in the 1860s, and then Carnegie got, got set up in the in the in the early 1900s to end war as we know it. And but the answer is end men and women as we know it. End human. Uh, competition as we know it. So it's an official world government plan to end the family, end humanity. Brave New World is not a fiction book. Huxley even wrote another book about how it wasn't fiction. He wrote it in 32, how it was a total plan for what they're now doing. And so it's a, it, they call it the the post-human era. They call it uh, the end of the future. Uh, they call it- uh, you know, uh, the, This what leads to breakaway civilizations as well? Full spectrum dominance. Yeah. So, so full spectrum dominance doesn't just mean what, land, what is that? Air. What is that? If you can induce humans into an artificial system and then take control of the whole human biology and make it a corporate thing, you have now dominated civilization. You don't dominate people with tanks and armies and weapons. You you seduce them 
into giving up their basic humanity, their rites of passage and everything so that you can be the God. It's like that famous photo of Zuckerberg walking a few years ago with all his employees wearing VR, but he's not. He's bipedal. Well that's, all, well, that's like Charles, well, that's like Charles Manson, too. He did the same thing. He gave all of his followers LSD, but never took it himself. And, and he so wanted he was, to bring down, exactly, bring down civilization in a race war to end civilization because his God was saying, you're going to be empowered if you can bring down civilization. And he was actually, it's come out of CIA mind control study, just like Theodore Kaczynski, the Unabomber, was in MK Ultra. That's actually LA Times. MK, no. Uh, <laughs> Type in Unabomber. Unabomber CIA. You'll get, and click images, you'll get Washington Post. See the, you'll, the get, you'll get it all. Alex, one of the reasons I think you're the best at what you do is because you find ways to tie conspiracies that may not have enough proof to turn them into law back to things that are proven. And so like MK Ultra, there's no doubt that that happened. Like we tested LSD on heroin addicts in jail. We tested LSD on on people in San Francisco and we studied them, right? That's what they admit to. Yeah. They've admitted to it, right? So I think sometimes what you're able to do is take conspiracies that are still very unproven and and then look at MK Ultra as precedent. And I think you you even just said it just now that it, for Sandy Hook, you looked at a lot of things that actually did happen as precedent. And then projected it onto the future. Onto other things. And so my question is no, like- No, I said that's all these <coughs> lies. When you're lied to so much, it, it creates an conditions artificial, you. Cr conditions you right. to an artificial form of psychosis. You're not literally so, psychotic. So my, you just start not not knowing what's real. It, it's like if, if a black pit bull in your life had bitten you five times. If you saw another black pit bull, or you're another, scared shitless. You're scared. So my question is, you don't is have this. you don't have you don't have psychosis about the general world or paying your bills or taking care of your kids. But you've got psychosis when you see a big public event, and you as a gun owner are being blamed. You start going, you know what? You guys have staged that before. I just say you staged it. Don't blame me as a gun owner. I just say it's your fault. And that, and I look back on that. At that point, I just kind of gotten where I wasn't doing consciously, but it was like a ruthlessness. Like you're not blaming me. I'm blaming you. The the the, the question I have for you is this: the I sometimes it feels like the difference. There's a difference between questioning something and saying that it didn't happen, right? Oh, yeah. Or that or that it's a it's we've been lied to, right? And I think. You've activated a base of Alex Jones fans that when you say question something, they automatically assume that that thing didn't fucking happen. I think happen, it's bigger right? than that. I think people don't believe a damn word mainstream media or government says anymore. And so they go, who did this? And the government and the corrupt groups project on me. He made them not believe us. No, I'm just a signpost. The lying made the public not believe him. So they think destroying me will make people stop questioning. No, if they start telling the truth like Trump's been doing, then people will start believing again. So They my, say he's got 8,000 gumballs on CNN of lies. You go look at those lies. Those aren't lies. How about just defending Trump? Well, just the other day, he said that his father was from Germany, right? Yeah, that means technically his, his dad was a German Im immigrants. But he wasn't, though. So that's my question. He was born in New York fucking city. So it's like, oh, wait what? If I, said, I, just, I just, my question is this, like I'm, what is a lie and what's not a lie? That's I think that's one of the things you know, we're I think suffering if, uh, at uh, under uh, right now as a as a people. I think if media, Fred Wolf's parents came over here and they spoke German in the house to say, "I've got uh, you know my dad's from Germany." Right. It, it, it'd be one thing if his dad was like part English and part German, and then had and been born here. But I mean, you know, when both your parents are from Germany and get off the boat, and they have a kid named Fred Wolf. I think it's reasonable to say my dad was from Germany. But I guess who draws the line on reasonable? I mean, hell, you can say I'm from Germany because I touched, I'm more than half German. I touched a doorknob on the way in here. Am I part doorknob? No. Are you like who draws that? Who a draws doorknob that is a little different than genetics. <laughs> like if your whole family's from, or, 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 let's say your whole family's from Russia, or your whole family's from Mexico. I mean, if if your dad was born here, but his parents brought him here, and he was from Mexico, and I said, "Hey, my dad's Mexican." So, but he was, but Trump's dad was born. In, and by the way, I want to throw this out too. He also said in a book for at a former time in one of his books that his dad was from Sweden. And so it's like, where do you start to say, okay, like we love the dude's policies. We think it's he's doing good well, things I mean, for the I mean, country. He said he but would, the dude is just making shit up. Well, I mean, he said he would get out of the TPP. He did that. He did that. He, he said also it, said he wouldn't spend as much time playing golf as fucking Obama. He plays golf every fucking day that, of his life. Hold on, not every day. That that's something he went. He he did. Criticize Obama, yeah, uh, for playing too much golf. And you're right. 
You're right. You got it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Like, just, hey, we need Hillary. Hillary. No, Ed, do not. No, stop. No, 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 do not do that. Hillary. Listen to me. I, 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 just I, I want Hillary to give right? me milk. No, stop. I want Spencer to sit right next to her. We don't know what it's like. I want to drink her. Hillary, I want you, Hillary. I want your milk. Like Romulus and Remus, I want him to hang down. I want your milk, Hillary. Give me your milk. You heard it here on Impulsive. Give him the milk. I, I will never. A man needs world. some milk. I will milk. never <laughs> some milk. <laughs> I will never do that chant with you. I don't want her either. But for yeah, but she, I did see you. I'm, but a, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've got a crush on her. <laughs> Hillary, meet me in Vegas, baby. I'm ready. Ooh. 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 Shit, y'all going to Marquee? But I, <laughs> I'm marrying Hillary, baby. There we go. But I she did. is my president. Yeah. Now she, but she talked. She talked. She talked shit about you a little bit. Oh no! I saw yeah, that. No, it's truth. all good. It was. It was low key. No, we actually have already been dating. Ah, oh, that's tight. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> that, that's a joke, by the way. Jones outrageously. <laughs> did you see Carpe Doncum, the great meme maker? Uh, got like you know forty million views or whatever uh, on on Facebook and all other places and, and Twitter. And then Brian Brian Stelter goes. He tried to deceive the public and showed Biden groping Biden. This is the fake news we're talking about, and it's very dangerous. What do we do? Let's turn to our panel. And it's, it, I mean, if you play the Carpe Donctum meme, it's its Biden groping Biden. It's a joke. It's not a fucking fake news. God damn it. <laughs> it's fucking a joke. Sorry. No, it's good. It is. It's I a family show. Yeah. It, no, 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 no. I can't argue with them I mean, on that. I listen. Listen, I, listen, you don't know the danger and the sexism and racism of people like Alex Jones and what a virus he is. I only have 100,000 viewers. We have to pay to put me on in different places like bars and restaurants and, well, of course, in train stations and airports and hotels. But I'm going to tell you, because I'm Brian Stelter, that we need to do things like take Logan Paul off the air. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how to react right now. Just bring over the big man. No, hold on. He left. Well, here, here's why this is interesting. <laughs> he smelled like Because, like, yo, I'm... Gotcha. Yo, I... This, your, I've never I, seen someone that stoned. Your energy is crazy. It's awesome. It's awesome. I and I'm... And, I, and I'm... I'm not quite used to it. I didn't have that but, thunderbolt hey, strike though. Listen, you hit me. But listen, <laughs> but listen, I'm looking at your oh, guys. Oh, are you looking, looking at me with laser? No. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, uh, shit. Oh. Alex Jones is going down on the set of Impulsive. <laughs> He's, all right, She's done, we dude. lost. <laughs> He's done. Hey, some fun with your audience. No, nah, but I'm just, I'm looking at your your people. Yeah, you got it. These guys are unfazed, bro. They're not even paying yeah. attention. They've seen I, us all, before. Big squad, all, the, all the Impulsive is like, is Alex Jones about to murder someone? Hey, but this is just no, a no, typical no, but average I, Tuesday. No, but I like this, You know, bro. you can make jokes about this, no. <laughs> but CNN deserves to be in charge. Have you considered a career have, in Hollywood? You realize you, you have 10 times the audience of CNN. Yeah, you're, Logan Paul, you're a bad person. Your impersonations you are on. you a white supremacist on your show. They're incredible. Alex, uh, Alex, I got I to I gotta, I gotta cut you one, one more thing, and then let's ask Logan's question. Question for you. You've had some, you've had a ton of shit from the left. And from Hillary and the left, right? That's just because he's mad I left her. Endless, but I saw you getting a fucking rumble with a, with Rubio oh, yeah. the other day. That wasn't the other day. Uh, the was other a, year. Six yeah. months ago. S the other month. You My did. bad. You no, it's okay. Little... Whatever. It was, it was lately. Yeah. What what happened there, man? Tussle. Can I do it in Brian Stelter's voice? <laughs> no, please don't. Okay. Right, yeah, it's starting to worry me. I'm, I know. It's such bad. I'm scared. Do it in Jimmy Seville's voice. I'm not going to lie, though. <laughs> like, only person gets me hotter than... My wife is and Hillary or Brian Stelter. My wait, dream wait, you got a wife? is a menage a trois between me, Brian Stelter, and Hillary. <laughs> hey, it's, it's legal now. I'm gay for Brian Stelter. Only for you, baby. You're so manly. You're so powerful. You're so real. Your destiny lies with me, Stelter. Join me and I will complete your training. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. I am your father. I can complete your training, Stelter. All right, sorry. What was the question? I don't think you <laughs> should be doing what you're doing. You are an entertainer. You should yeah. be in Hollywood as an actor. Or a linebacker. Or, or a linebacker. linebacker. No, no, no speaking of that, yo, you're bigger than I. No, hey, your breakaway sure speed. Watches. No, watches. your breakaway watches. speed is incredible. Yeah, this phenomenal. is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> some, no, seriously, this is amazing. Where, where did you get this type of breakaway speed? You're not an intellectual, Joe. You're a fake and a fraud. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Brother, you are quick. Fast. That's a D1 athlete. Oh, yeah, right. What, the look, what was the son. look in that guy's friend, eyes when you caught up thick? to him? 
Well, no, you're walking around Seattle. And everybody's like, fuck you, Russian. Fuck you, Russian. And they all run once they, if you watch the full video, after like 10 of these, my camera goes, let's get off the streets. This is dangerous. And then a guy right after that dumps coffee on me. I saw that. I saw Goblin, that a literal goblin. Vampire pot belly goblin appeared. <sighs> Vampire pot belly goblin. Yeah, hobbling yeah. around. Yeah, Where does suck. this fire come from? Where, what, what drives the paranoia? And is it fucking real, Alex? Is this all real or are you doing it to fucking buy a Maserati? It may, it's a persona, Alex. Do you want a, a Maserati? Maseratis are not that fast. You want a fat whip? Mine goes 185. You know the song? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I just go fuck myself. My Maserati <laughs> goes 185. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, no, I'm not looking for that. Where does the fire come from? You should be pumping up football teams before games, Alex. This is incredible. Either. Unlock your human potential! Let's go! Globalists who want to shatter your mind, your doorways to perception. I want to see you truly live. Let's go. I want to see you truly be who you are. Alex, come on, right. my guy. You asked a really good question. What was the question before I went crazy? Where's the fire come from? What was the question before that? You're, you're, where's the paranoia come from? Mm. Talk to me about your childhood. Did, did anything, what happened with your parents? Talk <laughs> no, to me about your fucking parents, no. dude. Well, it was the Martians in the? It was the Martians in the Clockwork attic. Elves. Ah, it's a joke. Just a joke. Like That's a joke. Comedy. Jones says Martians were in the attic. Guys, I'm totally real about politics or atrazine turning the frogs gay, or I don't like socialism. When I'm screwing around, he barely. And I fall. That's a joke. Everybody knows it's a joke. I respect the audience that they know a joke. Well, God knows serious. he doesn't have any punching power. He saw his fight with KSI. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> it's not that that I got winded. All right. So. Well, I mean, he probably kicked my ass. Anyways, the point is, is let's get serious here. There was a question before that though. Can we uh, rewind on Par the video hey, what's tape? The where's the paranoia? No, where's the fire else you come said. from? You're in Seattle. Was that dude scared? Was it the breakaway speed? Breakaway speed. I wasn't trying to act cool. I had been threatened like 10 times in five minutes, if you watch the full live stream. And I just, I should have not done it. I mean, here's an example. <clears throat> Two weeks ago, I'm in Austin. Restaurant. And, and, and people over to where I'm sitting three times and go, F you, eat crap, we're going to get you. And the guy, keep, I turn around, the guy's going, yeah, fucker, yeah. And, and I'm like to my wife, hey, eat your oysters, let's get out of here. We're not, I'm, I didn't order an entree. I'm like, we're getting out of here. We're, I was in there like 20 minutes and this guy's threatening me. I walk out there at the door going, F you, we're going to eat the rich, kill the rich. You got security? Yeah, yeah I should okay. always bring it yeah. with me. I didn't that, that Is day. that him? Yeah, yeah, but he, yeah, he's just, but, but I didn't that day. And so- then they, they're all videotaping. They edit it like Jesse Smollett to say that I attacked them. Luckily, even the statesman, it's a liberal paper, went and talked and said, no, they came to his table three times and told him, we're going to get you. And that's my problem. At a certain point, the fourth time, we're going to get you. I walk out there, F you, eat shit. Yeah, I saw that. We're going to get you. And, but they all edit it where headlines, the Daily Beast, Washington Post, Jones comes up to an innocent table of Hey, listen, liberals. you're right. I saw I saw that. I saw that video. And by the way, I heard the things that people were saying to you. And so my, my, my thought on it is I try to, by the way, I try to stay center of the road on shit. I try to. It's good. People were saying shit to you. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. Like I heard it and it was a form of bullying. And I was, that you only yeah, saw but, the end yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, but, but do you think he's uh, I, sort but, of- Oh, you were asking brought that upon yes. himself. That was the question. Is, may, is may, may, maybe, maybe, but at what point? Like you point, can't tell me no. No, I'm also. not saying I'm not saying he hasn't. But like I prefaced. You early, sleep in the bed you make. I pre I prefaced earlier with Sandy Hook. I know some of the parents. They fucking hate you. They fucking hate you, dude. Like no, make no. Tell, tell them the thing. Not, tell, tell them the thing. Oh, kill somebody the, one reached out to me. To, one reached out to me kids. today. One reached it's out like, to me. I'm sorry, your kids are dead. I didn't kill them. One reached out to me today and offered me six figures to punch you in the face on the fucking show. I'm not kidding about this. And I'm by the way, dead and by the way, he's, I would he's, never. No, he's gonna do it. No, I'm not. No, he is. Was that no, Posner? No, I'm not. <laughs> was that Posner? No, I'm not gonna say who it was. I'm gonna let you do it. No, no, <laughs> I, I refuse. I'm and by and by the way, this, no, this, no, 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 guy, no. Come on. By the by the way, listen to me. <laughs> I won't hey, do it. Hey, do it. We'll split them. No, no, oh. do not. No, no. Oh, Alex, that's stop. like five punches. Alex, stop. No, you give me a punch. I, I don't want to do that. You got a jaw. I got a jaw. I got this as an offer. He's got a steel jaw. I don't want you to get your five hundred thousand. I don't know. Not if it's a half a million. Split it with this him. shit. We already. Hey, no, I'm not one. fucking doing it. He already let because he's it. got money. He's got money to defend himself. I, I'm just I, a broke co-host. No, 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 I swear, I will not. I waive all stuff. It's mutually agreed contract. Do it <laughs> no, for the family. I want to here. Here, listen. Alex, just give it a slap. No, 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 Alex. I'm mad. Here. No, Alex, I I'm don't. I'm a bad person. Alex, I question things. I'm evil. I don't want any of this shit right now. I'm going to cry. I'm going to be honest. I don't want any of this shit right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to. All right, you ask if this is real? Of course this is real. <laughs> Woo! Alex, Are you not entertained? You blew the TV out. That's incredible. You? <laughs> <laughs> 
You made it a green screen. Can I have some more of that uh, water? That's you, thing, you, yeah, get in there. Is there any more of those ice cubes? Oh shit! Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Hey, listen, you, you, you apologized. You apologized, and and also, I don't think there's anybody that you harmed that it shocked when you said you had a form of any kind, of some sort of mental disorder. I don't, I don't think, think. I think people know that I'm completely mentally together. I I, I disagree. You said on Joe Logan, Joe Logan Paul. That's a mix uh, of two Joe Logan. podcasts. You said uh, you guys get married. It's Jolo. <laughs> Dude, what if you guys got married? That would be the biggest celebrity marriage. You and Joe get married. I would be the preacher. Think about totally that podcast. Think about Dude, that podcast. Dude. Dude, but here's the thing. Who's Joe pitching? Logan. Who's catching? Are you going to deliver to Joe? Or are you going to let him get behind you and give it to you? Are you going to answer or are you just going to ignore it, you think? Yeah. No, no, seriously. I'm going to ask, is Joe Rogan going to screw you or are you going to screw him? I think I'm going to set this play out. See you, how this works? You said on... on, on ice cubes at? <laughs> you get out. You, we, got a, uh, we got ice coming? Oh, more right ice. Here. Oh, good. Right here. Anyways, we're having some fun now. See how this works? I want to... Get in there. Where, where were you headed? I was just going to say... Where like, were you headed? Before you, you got fucked a good in, question? Before, before you, got, you got into the division of Jolo. Yeah, listen. listen, listen or would it be was, Lojo? Lojo or Jolo? What about Cujo? Stephen King. Well, if you, how about all three of us in a polyamory get married? It would be Logan Paul, Alex Jones, and Joe Rogan all get married. And then, hell, we marry Eddie Bravo at the same time. What do you think happens in that Bravo, case? Bravo, Logo, Joe, Jonzo. Jesus Christ. I was going to say on Joe Rogan, you said, and I quote. Kind of retarded. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> you said it for you. <laughs> What'd you mean by that? Well, it just means I have a lot of psychic powers. Oh. My shit. No, no, seriously. I am kind of socially retarded because I say what I want to say. And then I do get that people can then be hurt by it. But the whole world's hurting you. Gravity's pulling you down towards the ground. There's pollen outside. There's everything we do kills us. The whole point is get into it instead of letting it defeat you. Question. Why don't you pitch your show as an entertainment show? Now, imagine that. Now... As opposed to trying to convince people that this is the coolest podcast table I've ever seen. Thank Who you. came up with this genius? Idea? Hey, why don't we flash the lights, huh? We, we, got, we, we got we got cool things we as can a, do. As opposed to Good. pitching it as reality and getting people to act on things or or question, what if you just came out and you're like, "Boy, I got a funny shtick today." Imagine this. That's what I'm saying. So and then the broadcasters you're, off you're an now, entertainer, now listen, Alex. Listen. Do you remember? You, Before you don't remember there was this? Cybertron, there was the cube. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. In the 1950s, Autobots transform in, and roll out. In the 1950s, there were radio shows. Remember Orwell, right? Or or H.G. Wells, like all that shit, right? Was yeah. it Orwell? Yeah, that made people freak out, right? Made people freak out. Yeah. No, no, right? Orwell was on radio, but mainly it was H.G. Wells. H.G. Wells. Made people freak out. Thank right? you. But yeah, it was, War of the Worlds. And, and people and, were shooting water towers, believing it was the aliens. And yeah. so he started it as a real story. Like, But is that his fault? He says, the tripod-like creatures approached with four legs. And the guy runs out with a 30 6 and goes, goddamn Martian. So technically, That's the fact that yeah. he is highly suggestible is his problem. Mm. You asked me a serious question, though. You said, how much of this is real? It's all real. When I'm being silly, it's silly. When I'm being serious, I'll say I'm being serious. I believe what I'm saying. It's not been calculated. I'm in there having some fun. Earlier in the show, you said that you enjoy the war that you're in. So um, one of my questions to you is, do you think a war is necessary? Do you think it's necessary to fight, uh, you know, the the powers that be that are trying to, uh, you know, dampen people down? Or do you think there's another way that we can maybe get around these problems that we're facing as a society? I have totally noticed in here that most of you guys are in way better shape than I am. So I'm not going to say I'm oh, Mr. Tough Guy. What I'm saying is metaphysically at a level, when you go on a Mars mission, they say it's like a year when the Mars is closest to Earth. And by the time the most badass astronaut, Olympic athlete gets there, he can hardly walk or she can hardly walk. So the modern society is really cush and soft, but it's like having no gravity. So you think it's gravity as oppression, but gravity is like lifting weights or doing arithmetic or playing chess or taking care of your kids or making lunch. Work and training is what makes you better. None of us are perfect at it. We all know a lot of us are slobs in the society. So I'm on a high horse, but it's recognizing that situation. And so there's always corrupt elements in some giant thing like the government. And one thing, you know, Joe Rogan said that was really when I was on, he goes, you know, don't just say they, let's talk about specifically. Who are Because yeah. when I say the government was involved in 9-11, I don't mean police officers or firefighters or 99.9% .9 of the military or anybody. They're heroes. It was literally criminal groups working with radical Islam that stood down mm -hmm. as part of a larger plan. And so, yes, we have to be absolutely specific uh, about these things we talk about. But then when I'm saying 
oh my God, there's an enemy. I'm not saying it as a victim. I'm saying it as someone who's an overcomer and a conqueror that good men have to be involved in. Good women, like Thomas Jefferson said, all that evil men and tyrants do to flourish is good men do nothing, okay? And so I'm saying when good people sit back and say, oh, everything's fine, I'm not a loser. If I say things have a problem, I'm being a loser. No, then bad people come and take over. I'm saying we have to be engaged and involved in questioning because that always builds a better society. Mm. Are we, I asked Caitlin this, and one thing you, you're always very raw about is the power of they, of whoever they are, right? Whether it's NSA, CIA, whatever it's it is. It's big corporate boards that control corporate, governments. I, and that, by the way, I've been vocal about corporations controlling the, I, I agree with a lot of that shit. But my question is this, are we fucked? No. Like we could talk about it. No. But are no. we fuck like no. when they bring the AC 130s, I asked Caitlin this, when they bring the F 16s, when they bring the nukes, when they bring the shit, if they ever did want to turn on us or poison us or whatever, how how do you think we fight back? Okay, well, your least of your problem is gonna be human manned aircraft and, and the military. The military on average is more awake than anybody else. It's not an ass kissing contest, it's it's true. Police are more awake, military more awake. They live in the real world, they go in people's houses, they see the real stuff, they're forced to be put through stress. And as Victor Hugo, the French philosopher and statesman said, prosperity makes monsters, adversity makes men. Well, the actual quote was, prosperity, you know, adversity makes men, prosperity makes monsters. And so it's just a fact that, you know, like any successful person that has a big company, usually their kids are screwed up because that person tries to protect them from what they went through, even though what that person went through is what made them who they were. Yeah. Uh, and so we, we, you know, we pull back from this and we think we want to build this nanny state to protect everybody. But what we're really creating is a bunch of victims who want to be victims and then a predator class that's going to let them be the victim they are. I want mm -hmm. a class of people that question, that are strong, that are powerful, that make humanity better so we have a better future for all our children. I, I agree. You, I, you want that and you're fostering it on, on InfoWars. But uh, one thing I wanted to dive into a little bit was uh, – at, at what point does it go beyond wanting to foster a group of people that you just uh, described to now you're selling them? I mean, on, on your website, you have uh, immune support, deodorant, fish oils, super protein male bars, vitality, super male vitality. Like at what point are you capital capitalizing on the people that believe you? And, and, and I want to I'll use the word worship you in a way. I, I would like to believe the people that follow you, and, you and especially buy these products are huge Alex Jones fans. Like I know, I know one of them. So by do the way. I. Well, there's, there's a term called being screwed. When I'm in bed with my wife, I mean, I'm not, you're the, screwing. She's not getting screwed <clears throat> yeah. over. This is a good thing happening. And so you damn well, right. I want my listeners to support me. I'm supporting them. And I look at Jeff Bezos, who owns Whole Foods and who owns Amazon. Uh, Amazon. He's the biggest supplement seller in the world. People buy supplements. I wish I took my own most time. I should, because they work. Fish oil is really good for your brain and heart. It's what's made out of. Um, I mean, I, I go out and look. What's the top nootropic that gives people healthy energy? Boom. I, I, I clone it, make it better, and sell it for half the price and dominate the market. I go, what's the top water filter? Best seller right now. That's the lowest price, but the best seller. I call him up. I go, I'll be your number one seller. And I become the number one seller. So I'm under all this attack. And, and, you're, move, and I, you're moving product. I'm moving a lot of product. But the, the goal of my operation is not to move the product. But I need to sell the product because they took my sponsors away. Going back like 10 years ago, I had sponsors. They The, the, the liberals and the leftists, the, the, the authoritarians took my sponsors. So then I, I'm like, what am I already using? So is What's this already top rated? So anything I sell is already top rated. And so I'm very proud that you can go into a GNC and buy a lot of good stuff, or you can go into Whole Foods and buy a lot of great stuff. You know, I've got 60 products. 15 of them are private labeled, top selling uh, Whole Foods bestsellers. Gotcha. So, so the Washington Post, and I'm not even attacking Bezos here. The Washington Post writes articles saying I sell snake oil when I'm selling the exact highest rated fish oil they've got for 35% less. Is this your way to provide value to your followers? While they this is how, fund your operation? I wouldn't be there. Mm. So how am I going to do it? Most revolutionaries rob banks. They do all sorts of stuff. And well, he's robbing banks. You know, Bonnie and Clyde revolutionary. No, they're bad. I'm selling people T-shirts, books, videos, supplements, water filters, air filters, high quality emergency radios, stuff I have. Here, here's my marketing plan. Whatever I like, my kids are drinking filtered water out of the filters I sell. I've got air filters in every room because I have allergies. Uh, bad ones. And and so they make it where I have a better life. 
And so I find the best uh, four-stage air filter that I can find. The leading competitor is like 500 bucks. We sell it for 200, man. I make like 50 bucks on it. I don't do that model where people, marketers tell me, they say, you know, people want to, certain percentage want to pay the highest price. They think the highest price is the best. I'm, on, I'm not marking supplements up like seven Like a premium. Times. People premium mark stuff buyer, up yeah. seven times. I mark stuff up 150%. They want to have a discount. I, I cut it back to 100% markup. I read, I read somewhere that you're making $20 million a year and that your net worth is 10 mil. No, that, again, it's, you got a Rolex on. Yeah. But that's nice all because that's a nice good, 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 good Americana type deal. Yeah. I just like how it feels. I'm not into some like watch. I don't know. You've been you know? rocking it for a while. Yeah. No, but none of that's, I'm not against capitalism. I'm not a liberal who's super rich like AOC and then, you know, steals millions of dollars reportedly out of a, of a, of a fund she set up for politics and then gets away with it because she's part of the establishment. I'm not talking about that. What are your, what are your thoughts well, on let, AOC? You want the finances? Yeah. I'll give you the finances. It's yeah, bigger I than what I would love, I mean. It's bigger than what you said. But it's it's, it's like more. Some, it's more than it's way more than that. You're making more than twenty million dollars a year annually. I'm not making revenue. Revenue. When you sell supplements at hundred percent market, instead of a seven fold markup like everybody else does, five or seven, you can sell twenty million dollars of product. That's ten million dollars. Gotcha. Okay. So then you got to pay all your employees, pay the bandwidth, pay the infrastructure, pay all the stuff, pay the taxes, and then you keep money. But my goal. I wouldn't be going up against the assistant where they're trying to take my money away if money was my goal. Money is a great thing to do what I want and live how I want to and be independent. Money is like fueling my car to drive somewhere. It's not my God. In my hierarchy of needs, money's down at the middle. My, so what's, my up with children, the what's up with the top? My children, the future of humanity, telling the truth, my integrity. So the very publications that are owned by a guy who I'm not even bashing, who sells the biggest supplement seller in the world, are saying, I'm a bad guy. And all I'm saying to Bezos and, and them is, how am I bad for selling supplements when I'm selling the same one? People <laughs> buy it because it works, man. Turmeric is good for inflammation. We, we oh, take oil, we, we, fish we, oil no, is good. We Damn, do Tropics sell of off the shelf because they work? Protein. I, I, I'll just answer your question. The answer, which I'm not saying I agree with, the, the answer would be, like, from the outside, it does look a little bit like a bait and switch type tactic. You lure them in with the things you're saying and they agree with I, you to become I, fans. I, of you. And, I, then, and then you sort of upsell them on another way to somehow improve their life or make their life better. Mind you, I'm not saying I'm with no, that no, logic. I'm saying that, that's the no, answer no, no, to I the mean, question. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I get what you're saying. And, and just think of this. If you're watching Andy Griffith 50 years ago on Mayberry, on the original shows, he's like, this hour of the Andy Griffith show, me and... Well, what was his? What was his aunt? Aunt, aunt May? Or what's her name? Aunt? On, on, on aunt I only the, know the Auntie M. Auntie yeah. M. Auntie yeah. M. So he's like me and Annie M. Like mint and cherry flavored uh, Jello, and then we put some Cool Whip on top of it here in Mayberry. So it's like, is he dirty selling you Jello <laughs> and Cool Whip? Oh, well, That's listen. much worse for you than fish oil. You're you're talking to the expert of loganpaul.com slash shop. I mean, he, he, he has perfected the bring them in through the vlog, load them out the back door through the clothing. This no, is but not, here's the difference. Here's, is, here's, I, the difference. It, here's why I dive yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. The message behind my vlog is the same message for the merchandise. Well, listen, is the message well, for your well, product, how, how is it correlated in any way to the brand that is Alex Jones? Well, here's the biggest thing. I just said earlier, everybody's trying to be healthy, engaged, physically strong. I used to run six miles every other day. I used to lift weights for three hours. Yeah, and, I, I believe. Should and, I show and, the breakaway speed again? And now <laughs> I'm a big fat. No, but now I'm a big fat walrus who does it. But, but let me tell you, I feel good selling PQQ and CoQ10 and DNA Force. I feel good knowing these are the best, highest quality at the price they are. There's a big market in supplements, and people are into fitness. And this is how I fund myself. So I give them a good product. The, 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 there's not any separation. I'm not doing the show to make money. But it's okay to make money, and it's really good to have them trying to shut me down and then being able to fund myself through our great listeners who get great product in response and stick their finger in their eye as we stay on air. And let me tell you, here's an example. They've had these fake Vice shows and all these others like four times that I've seen go, we got his products for a week or a month, and we got totally sick on them. And the first thing they do is like, let's try this coffee. It's the top-rated Chiapas coffee on the border with Guatemala that I get a great deal on, and the exact same stuff is sold at Whole Foods for like $5 a pound more. And it's coffee I like, and I knew a distributor, so I started selling it 10 years ago, and I sell a massive crap ton of coffee. It's one of our biggest funders, okay? And it's really, and people go, God, this is really good coffee. Is it the best you ever had? That's up to your palate. I sell some damn good coffee at a good price. And people say, well, it's, it's not even like, this it's not even with like your ideology. 
I'm not even questioning the. I'm just saying I, I got to fund my war. And here's what happened. Like 15 years ago, they said, Jones just wants money. I was giving my films away online. I only had like 10 crew. And I looked at my wife at the time, people, and I said, we're going to, they think we're doing this for money. We'll show them how to make money. We're not going to bring in $5 million a year. We're going to bring in 10 times that. And then we're going to put it back into the operation and build this sucker up. So other talk shows as big as I am have a private jet, 20-bedroom house, and a helicopter. I don't have any of that. Where, where do you think you could put the money in let's just say like society outside of the show that you think would fuel that war. I mean, I've only got like a few extra million dollars at the end of the year. I don't know where I put that. I mean, because you just give give people money, you get like Skid Row and a bunch of homeless people injecting heroin. Mm. Teaching people how to catch fish instead of giving them fish is the way to go. You know, something I noticed about you that, and I said this- Here's an example. uh, Drew works for me for a while. Do we even do marketing? Do we ever even worry about ads? People just- Want to get on the camera over here? Sit low and Paul Seaver. No, I, I'm just telling you, man, we don't even worry about money. Alex, I said this. I said this to Caitlin. The listeners get I, that too. I said this to Caitlin too when she was on. She had, uh, it's weird sitting here with you after all the shit I've heard and all the shit I've seen to sit here with you and see you make some really solid points and some well-grounded shit. Like there's a lot of times where I Because all you've seen is edited bullshit. I, and I understand that. Is there ever a point in your existence where you think to yourself, if I simply pull back some of the really fucked up dialogue and really uh, stuff that really drives conflict, I can bring this thing back to YouTube. I can bring this thing back to Twitter and I could at least spread a portion of the message because the shit that gets you in trouble is the stuff that goes over a certain line that people consider, you know, morally unconscious or, 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 or just safe. Okay, well, I've been, here's an example. Like what, I've been, uh, great question. I've been particularly, I might've been more wild on here in the last hour and a half or how long we've been on air. I might've been more wild here than ever. So what, what is it I did that's wrong? I think the wild stuff you're doing here is you're asking Logan to punch you. You're taught, you're, you're asking me to punch you. We do that shit in our vlogs every day, by the way, join our team, like being in the vlogs more often. But, but, but to that point, I was trying to give that Sandy Hook parent what they wanted. I don't know if they want that. They wanted you to punch me. Go ahead. Oh, oh, that. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. Uh, I, I, you, you lost me for a sec. I think where, where the, where things change is when you start to hit these ultra sensitive topics. So I, I attack some sensitive topics as well. We talked yesterday about this Gillette ad of this uh, plus size model on the beach. And I said, I didn't like it because I felt that it promoted unhealthy habits and I'll leave it at that. But yeah, but imagine having me as the model. It's disgusting. It, we may be moving that but direction. They always, but force, they always force feed her. You're thick with two C's, Alex. Yeah, it's, but, it's but they always either. force feed her. <laughs> I guess what I'm asking is this, like, do you see like whole any- Gillette ad where a guy thinks a girl's good looking and the guy stops him? I mean, this is that, a cult, that, man. That was the one before. Yeah, I know and it's I, a cult. I, I know masculine toxicity. And now I what's, the, that what's, up. This, what's the? It's a new one with a with a plus size model. No, but- what's her name? The, the so called uh, comic that they took the the, the ratings off Netflix because nobody liked was it, her. Was it Lena Dunham? I don't know Amy Schumer. Oh, uh, maybe, oh yeah. she, I mean, she just she's just a. That's the corporate models to get women to hate men, just to break women up. So their husband is the corporate media. If you if you dial it back, are you losing? No, there is no dialing it back. The, the, I don't even know how to control myself. So so people ask if I'm real. Absolutely, I don't know how to like dial back what I'm saying. I don't know how to dial back what I'm doing. I mean, uh, what have I really done that's bad? It's all out of context crap. Well, you've you've admitted already on this show once that you've done at least one thing that was bad. <laughs> At least yeah, that's true it, with the Sandy Hook. No, nah, but I, I, well, no, I'm just, I'm just throwing that yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Out. No, but like, I mean, I, I, I think I, the, I think part of the risk comes from if, if that, if that was to happen once, I think they're thinking, yo, what if he stirs something up my, later that, that ends up getting people like really hurt? Where do you, where well, do that's you the thing about speech. Okay, here's an example. Up on Infowars.com, there's an MSNBC show yesterday, and they're like, Trump firing the head of DHS is a form of workplace violence. This could lead to him beating people up physically. It's like saying, if I have children, they might end up being bank robbers. The idea that, well, this guy's popular. He could use that power for something bad. That's the old corporate media that's dying, trying to convince all of you that have bigger audiences than them that you've got to be careful. you got to watch out. Well, they're the ones launching fake wars. They're the ones saying mothers and fathers are bad. They're the ones saying break down society. They're the ones saying open up the borders. They're the ones saying oh, we should uh, uh, accept radical Islam. That's dying corporate media that still has control of the corporations, but not the people's minds telling you to stand down because they're scared of you. 
<laughs> I want to. Can we dive into some conspiracies, Willem? For a little yeah, bit. Just you guys rant too. I don't quick. need to take it no, over. No, 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 yeah. I we should get a big pizza. Hey, well, so we that's get, what. So order a pizza? One. That was going to be the first one I was going to ask you about. Pizza game. Yeah. I was. It's funny you said that because I was going to say, like, I know. if we ordered it from New York City, what are we funding, Alex? Can you give some context here? I, I you know, know, you know. I mean, I know so, so Alex, this will be a day long remembered. Alex has Alex has said in the past that do voices, man, I'm telling you that there are pizza shops in in in, in and around New York oh City. Oh dear, strontium twelve detonator, pesky earth creature. That are I that know are that voice. Alex, that's, you, that's the Martian. Alex, you explain it. That are that are selling pizza to fund child no that's not what i ever go said. ahead go ahead okay so uh julian assange of wikileaks yep. not a conspiracy that's a real thing right yeah absolutely he had was it like it was gonna be six tranches or six doling outs of things in the last few months of the election it ended up being like 15 or something we're i had reporters up because he usually did it at 2 a.m 2 a.m for months sitting there on overtime pay for the minute he would release a few thousand emails, we would start searching the emails, which they admit are all real emails. So this is real emails, real stuff. So I have like three or four reporters getting overtime, black circles around their eyes to get this. Three weeks before the election. It's spirit cooking. We're going to have the children in the hot tub for your pleasure. We'll have the blood, the semen, and the milk ready. We're going to be flying the children in. Now, they're well-behaved, but, you know, they're still children, but their entertainment is ready. The $65,000 of hot dogs will be delivered to the cottage. And this is all the different Obama people, Podesta, all of it. And you brought this up. And so imagine Paul Watson's the first, because he's out six hours ahead in England. At like 2 a.m., this comes in. He so it's you know so it's already like eight in the morning there. He writes the article, you know the one thing the Aleister Crowley ritual will be next week, and it's yep. it's bloody, uh, you know, de- just type of spirit cooking, and it's dead goats, and it's little kids at events with soups of blood, and and, and simulated human sacrifice, and we'll have the breast milk ready. This is Hollywood stuff. Yeah, have you seen the picture of uh, Lady Gaga with the? Uh- the lady that does all the, the high priestess spirit cooking. Absolutely. It's kind of. <clears throat> so and Jay-Z and all of it. So, so we write about this. They panic. It becomes the number one story in history. We're getting like 15 million clicks a day. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody. It's just WikiLeaks. So we're looking up. What's this mean? Alistair Crowley. We're like, oh my God. Everyone starts searching photos. There's all these public events. Because for the magic, you want to do it in public. It's called lesser magic. So they can do Alistair Crowley stuff. There you go. In public, you get more power. So Boom. I go to Mexico for a week, okay? Right after Trump wins. All of a sudden, the phone starts ringing. The New York Times, the Washington Post, CNN, all go from New York, where it's all going on. They go, it's a pizza place uh, in uh, D.C. where these Democrats go, and they got a dungeon and all this. And I go, you got to watch it. We look at it. Other people are already covering it, just like Sandy Hook saying, it was like a mockingbird when it acts like its wings broken to get away from its nest. We had him in New York. Eric Prince was involved. Blackwater was exposing it. It was all coming. You had the state police. I was on the phone with state police in New Jersey and New York. And it, was, it tied into Wiener and Epstein and Lolita Express. And, you know, all the admitted sex trafficking that's been confirmed. Convictions. All the stuff you hear about in Florida. So all this is going on. And they they divert onto this pizza place. And 4chan and 8chan go in. And they say it's all happening there. And then the media goes, Jones says that WikiLeaks says that when you buy pizza, it rapes children. And all this other stuff. And it was all them diverting onto the pizza place where nothing was going on away from all the real stuff in the WikiLeaks. And Tony Podesta, John Podesta's brother in the night, in the 2007 Washington Post, an article about deviant art showing his dungeon, showing the pictures of naked kids on the walls and all this weird ass crap. So they were destroyed there. And then they tricked me about a year in to go, oh, well, you you did report on this. I got more sophisticated after this. Why don't you explain so no one comes to this pizza place that some of your reporters covered it, everybody else covered it too, so no one goes there. And I go, you're right, listeners, nothing happened to this pizza place. We've sent people there. It's Nothing's happening. That turns into Jones made up pizza gate. There's no such thing as pedophilia. There's no such thing going on. Jones made it all up. That's how the sophistication of this works. So, so in succinctly, because I, I think what Rogan d- did a great job of when he had Juan recently, and someone else said this last night, was he was able to just bring this back to, to earth. 
are you so you're saying in so many words that Jay Z, Lady Gaga, all of these people were involved in some way covering up this human? Oh no. Okay. No, no. How, he, how, he, are, how he are they involved? How, 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 how is Jay Z involved? He brought up Lady Gaga. How is Jay Z involved? What's her name? I watched Spencer. 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 Spencer brought up the fact that they have these rituals. They call it art displays where a woman's brought in and white as the virgin. Yeah. They simulate killing her. And then children come in and simulate drinking their blood. That's lesser magic. You first get people like training a dog on a toy that's going to attack, like a toy duck, like a lab. The first duck it goes and grabs the water is not a real duck. It's a toy duck. And the lady that conducts this stuff, like, hangs out with the Clintons, like... Oh, she, they all, admit, all she people. said in a Reddit, ask me anything, she said, some of it's art, but a lot of it's real. I do black magic Aleister Crowley rituals. She said it! Who's who's the guy that, uh... So, so here's the thing. WikiLeaks released the bombshell. The big kahuna. The big Mac Daddy, man. The Godzilla. Are you in contact with Julian? No, never been. When's the last... You never talked to him before? No, he went on Fox, CNN, everywhere, and then he would never even talk to us. Why not? And then it's like, I, I don't know, but it's like suddenly Jones runs Julian Assange with Roger Stone. Is he, is he still hiding? Is he still in the consulate? He's an Ecuadorian consulate. In the Ecuadorian consulate. consulate. Him. He's been there, what, for four or five years now? Yeah. The last time I saw him was a, as a holograph. I think the guy's a hero. You know, Trump said, one thing I'm mad at Trump about, Trump said, they're like, at a press conference, two months before he won the election, they go, they go, Trump, you can pull the clip up. Trump says, release the WikiLeaks, whoever has them. Or Trump tells Russia, release WikiLeaks. They'll bring up the video. And he says, I don't know who has them. I don't know who got it, whether it's a fat kid in a basement or the Russians. But whoever's got them, they're criminal emails of Hillary. People have the right to see them. So Russia, if you have them, release them, which is what I'd say. It's not his fault she's got illegal servers and somebody grabbed it. That was their, quote, thing to get the warrants to say he was a Russian agent when Trump said, if Russia, if you've got it, release it. But I'm here with you guys. What you about guys, what about Snowden? I think Snowden's a great patriot in that he only exposed the fact that they're using this against the American people. You think Trump's hiding anything? Maybe how many chicks he's had sex with? He's pretty straight What shooting. do you think that number is? Just curious. Yeah. You want to take a guess? Trump is pretty, he's no uh, Nikki Six. Uh, he's no uh, Wilt Chamberlain. I mean, he like, even when he's in between the marriages and stuff, he'll like, so I didn't ever even believe that Stormy Daniels thing. I know people, he's a big clean freak. He wants to get to know a chick for a long time. He's super nice to chicks, uh, but if they do it, one thing or ever act weird, he ever talks to me. Like you don't. I mean, what's the number? What do you, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think he's balling at? Yeah, I'd say Trump's below my number. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are we talking triple digits? Triple, di uh, triple, triple digits. Triple digits. That's table stakes just to be on this podcast, man. Yeah. It's fucking six digits. I would say. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just know people that know Trump very well. And that, uh, like, like Trump had beards, but they weren't a wife that a gay guy has. It was more like a guy would go out with Trump with a girl he was dating. So, that, so there was like that, they would pose like they were with that chick. Mm. And it was even in between marriages because Trump didn't want people messing with his girlfriends. And he had black girlfriends and everything. So that's the whole thing that he's racist is just pure crap. Speaking so of racist, yeah, let's I, just say I, this. I, he's not in Russia getting pissed on by Russian hookers. Ooh, he's, a, yeah, oh, he's just in the States. That's all it. been proven fake. So all the Russian stuff is fake. 100%. Dude, right? they say I'm a Russian agent. I've never did nothing to do with Russia. What you think? It was like Maxine Waters said, Trump gets orders on drain the swamp. That's from Putin. Lock her up from him. No, bitch. It's from me. I popularized that through my listeners. Yeah, I've talked to Trump a lot, but he never gets it from me. He goes to those rallies. People hand him notes. What he hears people say, that's what Trump believes. Trump used to build his own towers and do his own construction. He was like 12. His dad made him work like after school, like six, seven hours at night with the workers and stuff, man. He's all about that. I'm not kissing Trump's ass. He's just a real president. Who's he, he believes America should run America. Who's winning 2020? Donald Trump by seven points. Heard it here first. Trump landslide 2020. All right. I'm going to go put piss on crazy. a Russian hooker really quick. I'll be right back. So, no, 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 they piss on, so I'll, Oh, they piss on me? Ah, oh, shit, whatever. Either way, a golden shower is happening. Uh, yo, so Alex, I'm super fascinated by the psyche of what takes place in your brain. And, uh, Can I buy you guys I'm, a pizza? Do we want to get a pizza right now? We're going to keep going. I'm, I'm having to go forever, but I want some lunch. Hey, listen, I'm going to be honest. We can buy the pizza, but can you order a pizza, yeah. Danny? That'd be amazing. I'll pay for it. So generous. Hey, well, you <laughs> <got your> pizza. <laughs> Yeah. I like whatever you guys like. Whatever. Come on, Domino's. I do the founder of Domino's. 
in Michigan. Why don't you call him up and tell him to send us a fucking pizza? Well, his brother bought the company up. And he's a good guy. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you like Domino's? Whatever you guys like. Hey, Domino's, I'm going to send you an invoice. You owe me money. Yeah, yeah. Maybe grab a cheese and so half cheese, half sausage. Whatever you large. guys want. But listen, what I was going to say is. Get a couple on me for everybody. Get a couple on me everybody. for everybody. Um, I'm not going to let you buy me pizza. I appreciate you having me on, Logan. You have courage to have the Roboten guest on. I, oh, I, the only reason I would say I have courage is because I'm quite honest, not sure if this video is going to be even allowed on YouTube. I <laughs> sure hope so. But other than that, no, I'm still, I'm still pretty much a bitch. No. What about? Great question. Does she, does she go to public school? She goes to private school, but she goes, she has friends in public school and, and, they, and they all like the show. They like your show. They like Joe Rogan. They like uh, Steven Crowder. But I'm, I'm telling you, they don't know what the NFL is. They don't know what Dancing with the Stars is. They know what Logan Paul is, Joe Rogan, Steven Crowder, Paul Watson, Alex Jones, which is kind of weird. Like, I like this 45-year-old Oh, dude. yeah, it's weird. It's I'm not Pentagon what? stuff. I'm not trying to target kids. They just tune in. What do you think that's going to create with you know, when you look at when you were growing up, you probably only had a, a couple news stations, news sources, didn't have the Internet, you know, that like we didn't even have that. And that was we were like the first generation to get it. What do you think that's going to translate to when kids our age are in Congress? Kids our age are the ones making the decisions. Do you think all this crazy stuff that you report about, do you think that's going to st stop happening eventually? I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be explosive, but they're pretty sophisticated. Like... Millennials kind of buy into the system. Half of them say they're communist. I think they're going to wake up and figure out they've been conned. But Generation Z is very libertarian. And the fact that they're like really watching sophisticated stuff, I think that's part of genetics is that each generation rebels against the last generation. Uh, and the older generation always thinks it's bad. Sometimes you're a good generation. They shouldn't be rebelling, but they genetically do it in case you're bad. And I think that the, the rebellion of young people I guess the thought police is a very, very healthy thing. I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, like, I literally go to, like, school sporting events and other things. And I go to public schools with my kids and their friends. And it's like, they don't know what CNN is. They know what Logan Paul is. They know what Alex Jones is. And like I said, you I never— it's a good or bad thing, Alex? Well, Logan, let me ask you this. Ma ma you did some fun videos. But you probably weren't targeting 10 and 12, 13-year-olds. You've got a bunch of older listeners, too, and viewers. But, like, it's like I'm a 45-year-old dude that does geopolitical hardcore analysis a lot of the time. I screw around some, too. Yeah. Well, there's, like, 10-year-olds watching. Kids find it. Yeah, kids so find it. So why do you think they're watching it? And that scares the establishment. I think it's the personality. I think it's the personality behind I'm it. A, yeah, I, I would actually— Kids went unscripted. Yeah, they like it. I think that I think that's one of the reasons why I think that's one of the reasons why Trump won. To be honest with you, he came out. He said, "Fuck the script." Mm -hmm. I didn't vote for Trump, by the way. Not a, not a Hillary supporter either. So it's fine. Just yeah. just just for some preface, but I think he went out and he and he said, "I'm going off script. I'm going to be real. I'm going to say it how it is." Exactly. People, people are sick of scripting, and and sick of following we script. I got here ten minutes before he we went on. You guys said, hey, get off the set. We're about to go live. I went there, took a piss. It came in. It was no prescripting. Nothing. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Zero. People no, no, literally they like, think yeah. everything I do is scripted. They, no, they they like the they like the realness of it's it. Like I, when you ask me, what's the scripting? What's your plan on marketing? Do 10-year-olds find, no find your content? I just want to check you on that for a sec. 10-year-olds go to InfoWars to, to watch Alex Jones. Like still, or are you saying was that in the past when you were no, on no, YouTube and Twitter? And Yeah, still. Because I I what is tribute most uh, young people a lot finding of my that. content to? I sign autographs for like 12-year-olds all the time. Are you serious? Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. I'm sure. Where are you going? Over here. He's going to take a walk. It's distilled water. He's got the distilled water again. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. He's got the I, electrolytes. I could have yeah. grabbed it. He's got the electrolytes plants crave. Fueled up. I'm running a little low myself over here. We're trying to, we're going to have some this, electrolytes. This podcast is going to be eight hours long. Yeah, What's really going to be good is eating pizza on air. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> do, we, do we order that yet? Hey, oh, Danny's doing it. The that. reason, guys, let's get serious. It. I'm the one here ranting. Let's talk about the whole fact that, in fact, I even wrote some notes here because I forget these names. I'll go for it. Is this about DMT? And the, we'll get to the clockwork. Oh, he, oh he got a notepad with notes. Uh -oh. All right. I want to get into Judith Miller. She knowingly reportedly in the New York Times knew there weren't aluminum tubes of uranium and they lied about Iraq. I'm not saying Saddam's good. The point is, is that they lied about that and it killed millions of people. Two million. L lied about what? Give me that one WMDs time. in Iraq. So we never hear Judith Miller should do a, a, an apology to her. It's like Alex Jones is bad. He questioned Sandy Hook. But Judith Miller in the New York Times questioned and, and, and lied about WMDs and did all this knowingly to launch a war. And then they write articles how I'm the devil. Well, how who, are they good? Who fed it? 
was it, it was it Judith Miller breaking it to it was Bush fed it to Miller, obviously, right? I mean, he's the but one it that turns out she knew it was bullshit. Oh, and she reported on it anyways. Yes. But regardless, I believe Sandy Hook might not have happened. Then later I looked at the anomalies. Were, some of them were fake. I figured out it did happen. I did it legitimately. They did it in the Office of Special Plans to lie to go to war. Wait, so what? Right, so what's your prerogative here? What are you saying? About Judith Miller? Are you trying to like compare the... I'm just saying, man, the mainstream media, like you were saying earlier, maybe during a break, but we were talking about how they have all these Oxycontin ads and the company that did it knew it would addict people and hurt them and did it on purpose or Bayer knew that they were putting HIV in the factory rate blood product. Yeah. I would never do that. I'd, I'd love to talk about. So yeah. per, the Mike's comp- from East Coast, where Stanford, Purdue, Stanford right? Connecticut, where Purdue Pharma is based. And they are, they have made bill, billion, multiple billions, billion. billions of dollars, right? And the family is now being sued again for taking that money and burying it off sea, overseas and, and in places that they can't be taxed. The Sackler family. And well, see, I got, I got Sackler. Family. I mean, this oh, is huge. I, I only wrote a few notes about what I wanted to say. Sackler. So, okay, I'm this horrible person. That's glo- that's global elite. Like, you want to talk about global elite? The Sackler family. The Sackler family made profit. That that's money they kept. Thirteen billion dollars. But I'm bad because I sell fish oil and coffee, and that's all I'm saying. The Sackler family created oxycotton in their own admissions in, in court documents to addict people, and then you know the story of heroin, right? After the Civil War. They'd sawed off millions of arms and legs, millions. Almost a million died. And they said, we got a cure. It's called heroin, 10 times stronger. Well, they came up with Oxycontin. It's 10 times stronger. And so exactly, the Sackler family does this, and they're okay, and they're cool. The media halfway defends them. And so that's the point I'm making. I think it's starting, yeah. to, tur- I think it's starting to turn now. They, they, Thanks to Trump exposing it. Maybe. But they've got, they've got all these documents now that show well, you that. You know, under Trump, in Afghanistan, our military burns the po- opium fields. Before, we had to help them produce it and ship it in here. Is that Trump true? Trump killed all yeah. that. Oh, frick. I, I know you've talked about this before. Yeah, I've talked what, to, by like, the way, I, what, I don't want to say, like, fully, but I've heard from soldiers who were there who actually w- did say that that was that was happening. happening. What's why what's do your, you think they're so pissed at Trump, dude? The game the game's over. What's your what's your route to finding a story that is worth exposing? Is it is it human sources? Is it re- documents? Like what says Alex? This story is ready to go out because I think I think this is one of the big questions people would have for you is. Why didn't you do enough in the beginning prior to Sandy Hook going live, prior to not whatever it is going I live? Agree. Now you're asking a real question. Used to, if the internet was questioning and it was the top of 4chan or wherever, and if other sites were questioning it, I would then cover it like, well, they're covering it. Now I can talk about it and question it just because I, I didn't know what was going on. But my show was so much bigger and my listeners did take it as so credible. That's my big failing. I didn't understand that. So mm-hmm. what you just said is absolutely the issue. So now I realize 99%, literally 99% of what we do is here's the newspaper. They're talking about this. I give my commentary before it was like 5% was we would like do our own stories. And that's where you get into problems is when you, is, is when you go out and try to figure out what's going on yourself. Most of what I do is just commentary. Here's an example. In fact, I thought I brought a couple of newspapers in. Maybe I didn't, or maybe they're in the car, but it was the cover of the wall street journal. Maybe it was the New York Times. It's like, our government remembers Rwanda 30 years ago or 25 years ago and the mass murder and the UN tried to stop it. It was on record the UN wanted to take the land from the uh, Tutsis or the Hutus, I forget. One was good, one was bad. That was all a fraud. They went in and the UN genocided them for the oil and diamonds they had in Rwanda. But then I'm reading the paper and it's how our government's so upset and so sad now about what happened to them in Rwanda. What what yeah. does the word government mean to you when you hear that word? What 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 do you feel? Government just means the systems of control over a country or a system, and the different levers of power that are within it. Ne- so, negative or positive, or or to be it can be negative, it can be positive, it can be all those points. It's like controls on your car. It's like a Mercedes has these controls, a a Cadillac has these controls. I mean, I mean, really, it's like this skateboard's this way. This this you know this this this, this drug does that. It's what type of government do you set up, what works, and limited governments that have free market under them uh, that go off what the people are choosing and then try to create a safe society for people to seek their dreams. That's the American system that was never fully realized but was light years ahead of everything else. Mm. Hey, can I play a game with you? Sure. All right. We can do fact check too. 
No, I, I like that with Caitlin Bennett. No, because we oh, we yeah, fact checked Caitlin Bennett, and I and I actually said with you, I uh, I was like, yo, let's assume everything he's saying is true because uh, Caitlin knew her facts very well. And, and by the way, like fact checking, I, I encourage everyone to do, and am by no means ashamed of it. I always fact check, question everything, just like you say. Um, but I want to play this game with you because I'm like I said, I'm super intrigued and fascinated by your psyche. And I just want I just want to maybe dive into the mind of Alex Jones for a second. So we're going to do a, what's it Ooh. called? The, the, the Rorschach, Rorschach, Rorschach test. Rorschach test. Yeah. I'll show you some ink blots. Okay. And I want to know the first thing that comes to your mind. I have six. Pretty simple. But yeah. Let's see if we can dive in here. You ready? I like this. That looks like a moth. <laughs> moth. I'm going to agree with him there. It's actually clockwork elf. <laughs> you were, sorry. Right, ne sorry. Ne next one. Next one. Next ink blot. What's that? That looks like some goblin or something, but then he has eyes below him too. Oh shit. Yeah. I think a Star Wars stormtrooper. That's what same, I would have said. Stormtrooper. Same, same, same. Eyes below. No, it is a stormtrooper. Because they have the breathing holes right there. So, yeah. so I'm gonna be honest, I'm 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 two ink blots in and I actually realize I'm not a psychologist and have no idea how to determine any sort of results from this. From this, yeah. 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 You're right. Once let's let's go again. Let's go. You want me to give the you want me to give it a shot on the next one? Here, like here's number three. I still want to hear, all right? Hey, number three. Oh, this one's there's more ink. Almost like bones or a flower. Or a okay, so 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 yeah. Based on that answer, I could tell you're super into botany. Yep, <laughs> yep. You're botanist. Yep. Next, next ink blot. Oh, uh, okay. That looks like a dog or a cow. So yeah, from that answer, we've actually uh, ascertained that you are a fan of Kong the Savage. Is that is that accurate? This kind of looks like a like a kind of a weird dog. I would have said a. Dick, to be honest, man. Yeah. A fallop I, fallopian tube. Yeah, a uterus. See, a me, uterus. I see two eyes uterus, and then like a dog. Uh, all right, check it. Uh, Looks like Trump sucking a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the joke? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty obvious that's not a real ink block. <laughs> no, I think it is. That's a part of the no, classic. These, are, these were chosen completely at random. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Now stuff's getting Who good. Who chose these? Who chose these? This is crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Danny, did you do this? Uh, all right, all right here we go. Else. That's more like a stormtrooper. Yeah, thing. another stormtrooper. All right, fuck this test, bro. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. I like this. Let's I, well, I, I really, I don't know. I, I can't tell anything more about you than I didn't know before. Like I, I don't know what I was thinking, bro. We're all seeing the same thing. Man. Listen, where, what do you, what do you do for fun, Alex? What do you do when you're not being Alex Jones? Paul show. How is this not fun? This is incredible. This is a no, work. good time. I'm we having a good time. We got juicy pizzas coming. We got water. <laughs> we got water. <laughs> we got water. What, what do you do in your downtime, Alex? You play checkers? I like to go out on my boat. Uh, I like my wife. Yeah. Yep. And she's how, how long have you guys been together? Right after I, got, I started getting divorced, I got, I got hooked up with my wife. She's good stuff. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> She's good stuff. She's what, good stuff. Is that is that, is that the mother of your current daughter? I got four kids. Different mothers. I had three with my ex-wife and one with my new wife. Mm. Yo, what's it like being? When's Logan Paul gonna have a kid? Honestly, hopefully soon. I, I'm not even kidding. Where's your wife right here? We're working on it. She must have went that way. Listen, Alex. She's not. He, he, he ain't the best at it. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hit. He's got a. Hey, he's no, got, this is a good question for he's you. He's got a problem. I explained this to my mom. I explained this to my mom. I said. I said, Ma, I feel like if I have a kid, it will give me a sense of purpose in life beyond just me. It will, it will prevent me from being so will. gosh dang selfish, which is something I, it's, I don't want to say I suffer from, but gosh like. Gosh dang selfish. Gosh dang. Not, I'm not like selfish, but like, I do think about myself more. I got a lot better business when I have my first kid. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. So then you have a kid and it makes you better. Everything. It just clicks. Can like you get on board for that, Mike? Alex, you ever tried DMT? Nope. Joe, Joe, Joe has. Joe's Joe is a fan. Joe's at, so tell me, I should take it with him. I just not, not, not I'm about it. Kinda, I like all the crazy I'm at right now. What about what about uh, psilocybin or or LSD? I've never been a big drug guy, but in high school and stuff, I did try mushrooms. I've tried LSD. I've tried uh, a few other things, and I just uh, I'm already kind of like that anyway. So it's kind of like it doesn't do anything. I'm cu I'm curious about this DMT thing, and uh, and Joe has talked a lot about uh, what's the deal with these clockwork elves, man. Okay. I, I keep, I keep asking. I got, I got to hear about it. Cause I elves. guess a lot of these people on DMT are, are, are seeing these little creatures. Now, what do they do? Do they guard the, 
do they guard the uh, these clockwork elves? Do they guard the the next dimension? Is that how that works? Every culture, from Japan to Latin America, Mesoamerica to ancient uh, Europe to the Norse, have talked about little three foot tall gray creatures, little green hats. We had one here earlier. You're not you talking about our friend Evan. Evan. I want him in here on me later. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, is that. To be serious, the establishment knows there's not just space around the planet. They know there's other dimensions. That's been proven. So they're trying to break through and have contact to get advanced technology. And so there are a lot of declassified and public programs, but also secret programs of people taking high levels of drugs in sensory deprivation tanks to then make contact with aliens. I've never done it. I'm not part of it. I'm telling you, Silicon Valley, the establishment, they are heavy in these other dimensions this being a simulation, they don't even care about this planet anymore. And they're basically getting these ideas from what they believe are aliens through interdimensional travel. You don't go to some planet to meet the aliens. You interdimensionally communicate them through your brain. They can do fifth, sixth, seventh uh, dimensional connection. And that's internally what's going on with the CIA and Google and DARPA is uh, – They've got the cyclotrons, the Hadron Collider, trying to figure out reality on this level. But they've also got the interdimensional connections to these aliens. And you've got the Pentagon. I remember General Stubblebine. I had him on air many times, but also talked to him privately about their Pentagon programs and their contact with aliens. And he was the head of uh, military you, intelligence. You mentioned this on Rogan. Mm -hmm. And so, 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 like, even, like, when we talk about the government, even something like HARP, you're saying that all of the stories that they put forward are all just cover-ups, right? Like the, the collider, they're not studying the collision of photons. What is it that they study in the collider? Protons, 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 protons. photons, whatever no, it is. Quarks. Quarks. Uh, singularities. Yeah. Uh, the strangelets, black holes. How do I get to another uh, dimension? Uh, Alex, how do I go to another dimension? God particle. No, they are looking for the God particle. No, how do I go to another dimension? I want to go to another dimension tomorrow. Well. Is that possible? Mike's, Mike's just can. He's con he has a concern that he, I think he's trying to like. I have had this concern and I've mentioned it to Logan multiple times that if, if I, if I were to take DMT and I, and I traveled to another dimension, what if I woke up after or came to after this DMT trip and I was a doorknob in another dimension, just on another, on a fifth, well, let me tell you, that's a fifth the dimensional door. Like, look at me like this. I'd say one out of 50 people that do it become basket cases when they come back. And these places giving people ayahuasca in Peru uh, and in Costa Rica and in Mexico, you better watch your ass. And a lot of them are con artists that want to get you drugged out and then get your bank account numbers because you're going to think they're God. My uh, bank account's overdrafted. Well, so if they get mine, they're going to actually, actually they're actually gonna have to owe uh, $35 right. yes, to Bank right. of America. So let me Within break this two down. weeks or they're going to have a lower credit score. So, so I don't give a fuck if they take my <laughs> bank account. So you want to know where the elves are at? <laughs> Yeah, yeah I want to know where the, the fucking elves, elves are, are dude. Here's the proof it's real. I've interviewed privately more than 15 people that are known corporate leaders or celebrities in the last 20 years. And I've talked to hundreds of other people. And at these DMT and ayahuasca cults that they do in the jungle, usually at ancient sites around pyramids, because that's those are sites where this is interdimensionally it's like chumming for sharks in the ocean, putting blood out. The sharks start showing up every day to get fed. So at certain sites like Stonehenge or the pyramids in Egypt, the pyramids in Mexico or pyramids in Peru, these sacred sites, because of uh, the magnetic lines of the huge mercury uh, nickel core of the earth, and it, it's shooting out a lot of stuff that opens up gates. This is not me saying this. This is what the establishment believes. They're totally obsessed with this. That's why they want me off air, so I won't talk about it. But 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 this is what they do. They get a bunch of people together. And they think they're going to an ayahuasca or a DMT deal. You've got high priests that are already taking the drugs as much as they can who've made agreements with whoever these entities are from other dimensions that are taking it. And I've talked to national talk show hosts, members of Congress, people in the government, people in the Defense Department who are researching this, and they get sent to these things, not just what the Defense Department's doing. And you'll have 50 people, let's say, uh, in Belize or Costa Rica. And they all take the ayahuasca. And then they all see the same aliens coming up to the edge of the woods. They're not realizing they're like an old pyramid site. They're doing it. Where this has been done for thousands of years. Interdimensionally, these things know to come there. And 
then there'll be somebody in the groups like a black magician who will go forward and then they'll see this big transformation around them that happens. And so, but everyone's seeing it. It's not a drug. It's not a mass hallucination. They're all on the drug. A gateway opens. And then now they're actually seeing all these creatures at the edge of the forest. And then some people go out there and some people get possessed by it. So it's like a virus your computer picks up. But it's not a virus on a cheap computer that Microsoft made. It's the interdimensional whole galaxy universe. All these planets, the sun, the asteroid belt, and all the dimensions around it is there's like space junk you can pick up. Because any advanced civilization we call God, is not going to try to infest you or take you over. They're all about free will. So it's only low-level junk like fleas you can get. But you're a human. You're like, I want to see aliens. So you go to the edge of the forest, and a big giant flea comes hopping over. And it's actually an insect. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's retarded. It's fallen. But because it's in this upside-down world, you think, my God, I've seen God. I've seen them. And, and then the flea bites you, and then now you're possessed. Question. I've heard you tell stories about spiders that produce body armor. Here, I got, I got, the, oh, I got the clip. Okay, and and I, I want to tie this back to a rule. Let's 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 roll the clip. Twenty years ago, they had cows that produced human milk. Twenty years ago, they had spiders that produced body armor, spider guts. Okay, they have human animal hybrids. Thirty years ago, they've got giant human tissue farms. So here's here's my question, and it, and it's it's similar to the to the to the what you just went on there. Do you ever stop and just simply ask yourself, what the fuck am I talking about right now? I like bet. like like literally like because I could come in here and I could sit down and I could tell you that there's a block of cheese in the in the kitchen that produces shovels, or that there are fucking walls that produce sheep. Like, like, no, because I'm just curious. Because, by the way, I love this exercise. I love doing this with you. I love listening to it. But, like, did you ever see an anchorman where Brick says uh, he loves lamp? And they're like, do you actually love lamp? Or are you just looking around the room and saying you love things? I love lamp. I love lamp. What do you want me to say? I love lamp. Like, everything you just said, fucking space-bound flea junk, Interdimensional galactic <laughs> ranger studded fucking earthling mass hallucinogenic fucking DMT driven hypogenic allergenic air filter driven fucking. It's just like a fucking shit show words, Alex. Okay, okay. I will bet. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, I give you my word. I give you my word. This is going to be a huge moment. Get ready. That was powerful. One million dollars. And I will pay this to the charity of your choice. Oh, if all three of the things I said in that clip cannot be pulled out in mere seconds on Google, they had spider goats, goats that produce spider uh, web in their udders. I learned about it 20 something years ago. It was around 30 years. I had the head of the military base on. They produce body armor. It's classified for whole suits, that bullets bounce off of, made out of spider webs. Spider webs, okay. yeah. Okay, so you just said this is fucking crazy. All three things you it's just, just- I think it might be the way that no, you no, present No, all three, hold on. All No, it's fantastical. All three things you just, play the clip again. All three things you just played are completely been in the news 18 trillion times. The chimera, I looked, I looked up. And I read about the uh, human pigs, the, the pigs that were given human organs, right? And human sheep. But I read it on a site that was like daily no, that's, fucking- No, that's MIT. It was, million, it was, it was MIT back. And so, $1 million. So you, and so you can turn to the camera right now and I can- and You I can make can a million, dude. Hey, there's a thing. You can make the million right now. All you got to do, one million. I'll pay you. Dude, dude, they've got the spider goats all over the world. The create body armor. They've got the human animal hybrids. They've got everything. I don't know what you're talking. This is all confirmed, man. At what at what point That's though? Fucking at, crazy. At, at what the point? At what point do we like just kind of give up on caring about what those people are doing because it like drives us mad? Because they're going to conquer you, bro. Well, they've got whatever these. Let me tell you, the elite well, are well, taking he, well, the elite a, are in contact vegan. with aliens. He's they're building a base <laughs> in San Francisco to take over. That's the best thinking. And we're all sitting there going, oh, smoke weed party. I get it. Meanwhile, dude, they got some shit going on. They make deals with people to build some big ass stuff. The deal's been made. You've said that before. I, the I, deal's been made. I, so what do we got to do to just or revolt, what? man? I don't know. But let me like, tell you, they've told the elite they got to kill everybody before these aliens give us live extension. And the establishment's gone. Hal Hitler to the establishment. And they have Elon Musk. He, 
everybody was like, Elon Musk said exactly what Alex Jones said on Joe Rogan, because he went to a billionaire meeting where they were all deciding this. Type in the, why the future doesn't need us. Hey, I, I got a question. Why the future doesn't need us. The decision was what made. What meeting? You talking about Davos? All these meetings. They, well, what's it, what's it called? Davos. Hildenberg. The, yeah, type in why the future doesn't need us, Bill Joy. Who's Sun that? Microsystems owner. He goes to the meeting 22 years ago. And they go, we're going to kill everybody. He wrote an article about it. He told you. What do you think about this mindset? I uh, The podcast ends and I go and I eat my lunch. And then tomorrow I do the same thing that I normally do. And my life like just goes on and I don't worry about the elite or the humanoids. But your genetics don't go on forever. Here's the thing. You are- kids. Let me explain this to you. You know this. We have a new spirit. Each person is new. But our body is an earth suit of all our ancestors together. And imagine your grandmother, your grandfather, they knew their father, their mother. It's electrochemical, like electricity. Mm. You are completely connected as much as you are to your mother and father to people a million years ago. And they are an expression of you in a dream to the future, time traveling through flesh, which seems like a long time to you in your life, but it's really nothing. You are expressing something like a moth, that, uh, like, a, like a caterpillar becomes a moth or a butterfly. You are projecting through space time genetically for this larger plan. And we're about to hit the final next level of the explosion. And there's a interdimensional attack, obviously, on this jump point. What so is you that don't want to just live and enjoy yourself because then you spiritually die. You only live forever by your progeny carrying on your genetic memories and genetic blueprint towards the future What's, and defeating. So, so you you're don't think you just God that? lets us launch on this planet without an attack. What's the next level? This is, is the it the We're right? under a total attack. No, I get that. That's, a high, you, that's a high level of thinking and I actually can get on board for that. But what is that next level that you're referring to? You have to try to figure out exactly what's going on. You have to realize that, you've got to have a future for humanity because that's the arc carrying our genetics and not think about yourself because you're so greedy for the species and you to continue. Your consciousness is a group consciousness. You're an individual as a cell in a group consciousness in a hybrid collective group, like a jellyfish is is, is actually a, a, a you know compound creature. So you must, you're an individual, but you must understand the collective for it to continue on or you die. We're going to live forever, dude, as long as we make to this next point. It's Wait, done. So we'll take over universes, galaxies, dimensions. We're we are it, man. We're the weapon. This is a war. Wait, so you're saying we have to have kids to carry that on? What if we don't want to have kids? It's okay if you don't, but I'm telling you, you pass on all your ancestors, all your genetics, and you trigger yourself when you have kids that then chart, charts a chain reaction. Like, what if we don't want to be here and we dip and there's like a much doper place after? Breakaway civilization. Well, well that, that's always false realities that are brought into the paradigm, but there's no power without struggle. Are you religious? Well, I think it's religious being on this planet, deep space. Are you religious? I'm very religious. Christian? Absolutely, pro-human. What happens when you die? Well, if you've not resonated to God, you just join with all the failure and just turn into like a goblin. And? The glory if you have means. resonated with and God? forever you're running around with a bunch of like retard goblins. Do you think that, because I've mentioned to this before, and I, I hear your point about the retarded goblins, but do you think that... Do you think that there's a chance that every day when you wake up, someone sticks a pineapple in your asshole? Because I've told Logan this many times because yeah. I'm a because I'm a Christian too, and I like to believe that when you wake up and you you didn't conform you didn't become Christian, that when you go to hell, the devil comes up to you every day and he sticks the wide end of a pineapple right up your fucking ass. Yeah. Here's what happens: how many, how many if you go to hell, day, if you go to hell, you lose consciousness in a week. You go to heaven, you go to the next level, the battle space. And Wait, you, go, you become like a galactic warrior? It just goes up, up, up. It's like a big waterfall. There's no, but but you're going up. Believe me, as soon as we graduate to the next level, you're going to wake up in a total war and go, oh my God, I can't believe I just made that level. And God's like, yeah, let's go to the next level. There's a whole universe here, man. What if it's, so one, one a group of people I've talked to, not as much as you probably have, but I want to ask you, people that think that the end is not going to be because of interdimensional space aliens. It's going to be because of, artificial intelligence that we've fucking created. And so I talked to a guy over the summer, this past summer, that said that companies like Google and uh, other uh, Facebook have invested millions in def to defend us Hundreds from of our own super intelligence no, that we've true. created. No, the elite is super scared of this. You're absolutely right. But here's the thing. They don't like soldiers asking questions. They don't like soldiers that tell stories. The globalists want automated armies that will, that will follow orders. But then the elites are also scared of those automated armies, which they should be. 
turning on them. Turning on them. Because, because. And so, and yeah. so absolutely. But here's the thing. Anything silicon can try to mimic the soul. It can't do it. This has been done before. This ain't the only planet. This is all a big test. And so this is like a Petri dish testing babies to see if they've got what it takes to go to the next level. So it's like you have a surgery. They give you the shot. You go under. You wake up after surgery. You're like out of boot camp. You're like, whoa. And there's like eyes not seen, ears but not seen. What here. are the requirements to pass that test? Is it well, I can tell you, physical? I, 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 I definitely. I definitely I mean, let me tell you something, folks. You think this planet's fucking crazy? Wait till you see the next level. Because it's crazy. Have you seen it? I've definitely seen it. See how, 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 how have you seen that? Well, let's just say this. You definitely want to get right with God. You definitely want to be a good person. You want to say, I'm pro-human. I'm pro-life. I don't want to screw people over. And I want to be with God. I want God to take me with him. And you'll wake up. And it's like, death is not death. You're going to wake up. And the thing is, the big lie is you ain't going to wake up in heaven. You're going to wake up with the whole next level. Well, you think being an advanced intelligence is easy? We've we're, we're on a planet in space, man, on a galaxy spiral arm orbiting a sun. This is real stuff, brother. Yeah, but to Mike's point, what if you wake up and you're just a doorknob? Yeah, what if you are a doorknob? And a goblin. I don't think, the, goblin fact, I don't think the fact you walk around the public and we don't, we're on a power trip, but half of them are dead eyed. They're not real. They're NPCs. Mm. And they didn't click. Their, their, their eggs didn't get fertilized, man. They're not going to the next level. How come you haven't been taken out by the global elite? And is that coming? Because it's more of a large experiment, and there's not just evil people in the establishment. There's good people? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, it's more like a, uh, playing a game of chess. Mm. And so they have to destroy me in the public side before I'm killed, and then if we fail, then I'll be destroyed, which is fine. I'm not worried about that. Are you afraid I'm of death? Like, no. Not at all? No. What about for your kids? You know, as long as their souls are good, I'm I'm happy. I want to live forever. But the point is, you don't live forever unless you make the grade. And if you make the grade as a sentient, conscious being, you go to the next level. What are the things that just like 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 Logan was saying? What are the things that disqualify you from making the grade, in your opinion? Being a scumbag. If you like hurting weak people, and if you lust after power. At this low level, go, these people are so dumb. That's what Christ said. Suffer the little children unto me. Be better if you tie a millstone around your neck than to hurt one of these. If you look at weak people and enjoy being over them, then God doesn't want anything to do with you. You think we're gonna you think we're screwed if for all the times we crop dusted people on an airplane? <laughs> well, the average person that was a crop duster didn't know that was poison. Ah uh, shit. I think he means farting. Like when you fart and then you trail it yeah. behind your ass as you walk down the no, like I'll, you know people are gonna be look, pissed. Like you think, that's definitely here's the thing. Up. You think we're smart and get humor? God's the biggest comedian ever. I fucking love that. I hope I God hope. is a big comedian. Yeah. But here's the thing: God is willing to literally create. Here's the thing. Imagine you're God and you've got unlimited consciousness, understanding of the whole universe. What can you do that's real and new? You can only give birth to new consciences that have free will, who are new little universes. And they're like eggs. And most of the eggs go away in the universe because nature puts out so much. But some of those eggs create new beautiful things that are in free will. That's like art to God. It's like big paintings and movies. Watching us is what God does and seeing our free will and what we did because God has a big memory, but God doesn't know where God came from. It's the one thing God doesn't know. So God's creating us to try to figure out his origin. Her Is origin. God mad at me when I jerk off, Alex? No. God gave you that. God gave you all the pleasure. People sell the devil as like the hot cheerleader as, you know, no, no, that the, the devil's starving kids and piles of, you know, feces and mites and pain and failure. God's just like victory what about and planets you, and everything and just everything. What about if you can engage in premarital cortis? No, that's all the church saying it's bad. As long as you love somebody, isn't that a Christian? Then you're going to end up getting married to it's them. Like, it's very, ca a lot of it's Catholic. What about, other, what about other religions? Well, that's it. False Christian religion teaches you you're bad for your bodily functions, which is not Gnostic or esoteric. It just creates this thing to make you feel guilty because you have a soul and a conscience, so you serve the priest class. I'm dirty. I like women. God's not like that. Jesus hung around with prostitutes and money changers and tax collectors. He didn't want to hang around with the priest class that said they were all perfect. Jesus he, hung out with the IRS. He hung out. He hung out with real people. How do I get to the next dimension? Like not dying though. Like in in all honesty, if I want to say I don't want to move there, I just want to fucking visit, dude. Like you, I don't know anything. Here's the truth: you do it every night while you're asleep. You know who Rene Descartes 
was yes. the philosopher. You think we're living in a dream state? Well, that's Gnostic. And that's only one expression of reality. I would say the Gnostic is like another paradigm of the potentiality of the Godhead in humans. We're not God, but we're made by God. The image of God had the potentiality of God, and God wants us to be gods. So these average Luciferians look at the potentiality and go, I'm a God. I'm Lucifer. I'm a God. No, you've not done what it takes, the decisions, the pain, like Christ. You have to go through the pain and the punishment to then begin to ascend to just a little g before you become God. And then you realize you're already with God in God's consciousness because God created you. But you have to decide, because God's free will, do you join God or you join the devil? Because that God is God. God doesn't have slaves. The devil has slaves. God has recruits. Hmm. Oof. Damn, that's some deep stuff there, Alex. What's your IQ? Real. What's your IQ, Alex? Do you have know? you tested it? Over 70. No, stop, Alex. Obviously, that's table stakes to be at this. Just like having triple digits sex, man. You, I don't know what my IQ is. <laughs> Over 70. Rogan was, me, we, I tied with Rogan. 120, he was 127, 127 yeah. yeah. And then, and these guys are right. I'm, I just think pretty, the, I think the IQ test is a limited spectrum. I actually agree, like the whole cultural thing. Like it depends, because there's, there's emotional IQ. There's mathematical IQ. There's literary IQ. Uh, there's psychic IQ. I mean, I, I just think the IQ is a yeah, limited Yeah, I feel like, Filling out like uh, bubble tests, yeah, like how shapes look and how patterns. Not, so, like that's not telling you. Uh, that's telling you a fraction percent. Well, of, that's like, testers you telling you person. what they're looking for. That's a whole like nothing is Germans, but that's like a German Prussian brainwashing thing. Like they're gonna do what we want. You know, this is what we're looking for. Hey, I saw you get into it with uh, Eddie Bravo a little bit about the flat Earth on on the Rogan podcast. Oh yeah, you're not a flat earther, are you? No, why not? Opposite, because. <laughs> Uh, can I have that water? Yeah, absolutely. Fuck it. Uh, can, give us dang, can you get the big can you bottle of goose water? out of the, uh, the others? Distilled? No, we're getting serious. Distilled getting serious water. about this. Um, because science is real, there's geosynchronous orbit satellites. And when I was like, my dad was so cool. He's still alive, but so cool. I was like in college and I go, dad, I really want this Mead 12 inch reflector, or whatever telescope. I want to go out to the desert outside Austin. I want to see planets for myself. So I kind of got on that kick taking an astronomy class. Yeah. So, yeah. So we go out there and like, I, I could see in like 30 He's minutes, Jupiter turning a little more there for you. Thank you. Water. I could watch Jupiter turning and it's 20 moons or whatever. You rope all the rest of it. And so I so, knew. So the flat earth conspiracy seemed a little too far fetched for you. Well, the point is I have, well, here's the thing. I have seen planets orbiting. I have seen planets turning. Like, imagine, like, 10 minutes later, you look, and it's like this. You're well, seeing it I'm going to be honest. In 10 minutes, physically, you could have no recollection that a planet, planet has turned. No, I could, I could see it. No, you can't. He, he can. No, He's he not can. saying you can. In, no, in 10 a minutes, the human eye can discern uh, whether or not a planet has turned. Well, it depends on in the size. In 10 minutes. Depends on the size of the depends. planet, right? Well, and well, it, planets it could be spinning different ways. Let's be moon. Listen, you know here's the thing. Saying? I had a, I have, I have somewhere in some case somewhere, I've got it in storage. I had a 35 millimeter camera hooked in. And back even 20 years ago, like it was a digital thing you put in and it would digitally record it. I have like, I shot shots of comets. I shot shots of planets. And no, like in 30 minutes or an hour, you can sit there and run the thing and you see it go, doop, you see the, the point is you see the, 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 all these moons and the things turning. The point is I've seen round planets Spheres turning. Hey, I'm on. Hey, I'm on board. We're on the same. We're on the same team here. Do you watch? Okay, our, we all agree the planet's round. Yes, we all agree. Did we're you watch our flick? But I'm not saying. I'm not saying Eddie's bad for questioning. Did you see the movie? Did you see our flick? It was forty. Look, man, we made a movie about the the shape of the Earth. We got in a little. I bit heard of, about it. We got in trouble for it. And uh, yeah, it's, they ain't happy. I offered to have a ship chartered. Oh, I, I, saw I did that. see that. Yeah, incredible. How about we all go? I would down. Here's He's why. So Here's why. Down, it's just a waste of time. True. It's a waste of time. Yeah, you got to see Antarctica. No, it's like proven like. That like water's wet. Yeah. But is not, water wet? It is. But I'm not knocking Eddie. He's been lied to so much to say maybe maybe the earth's flat. Then Eddie was like, I know you've seen Jupiter, but there's a top and it goes in and it's a it's a thing. And I'm like, you know. He these guys these guys think the sun and moon are lights. They're lights. Like literally. Well, he told me he's like the stars are angels. He goes, the dinosaur bones. They're replicas. They're, and my thing is, Yo. I've been, I used to be in the fossils too. I've been out there and found a little fish. You're hacking through this place and he found this little fish 
And it's like, no, that's a fish from millions of years ago. Like this stuff's real. And I, I can't, like, you I haven't can't. found a di- you have found a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I'm like, yeah, but they did, you know, close to me. Do you think Hillary Clinton's a robot or a lizard lady or a lizard? She's my wife. Well, besides besides that, the you wife. date lizards. No, I mean, I don't know about Hillary Clinton. I mean, she's just a demon who wanted power and was all entitled. And then now they just keep pushing. Like they go, oh, men don't want women to be president. I don't give a damn. If we had a woman president that was pro-America, pro-freedom, I'd love a woman president. I don't give a rat's ass. Uh, we could have a tranny president if they were pro-freedom. We could have a black president. I don't give a crap. But Hillary Clinton was like a war criminal monster. Yeah, she did some crazy, crazy Shit stuff. over in Serbia. Hey, what uh Logan, you need some more of this water. Yeah, you, that's what I was just Logan, saying. Logan, don't play around. That's what I was just I saying. Get some water, man. Let's start playing games here. All right. What do you want to play? Like We're Monopoly? Started. No, I want to start. Yeah, come on. I want to kill this right now. The whole, want you, the whole the whole Yeah, I want you to kill your water. Hey, can we do uh some more ice standing? Maybe yeah, some more no, let's kill it though. Thank you, Mr. Did we Jones. Get, did let's we not food? play around here, man. I ordered it. This isn't a game. <laughs> Holy shit. The, I was going to work out today with him. The, 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 the replica. I was just about to say the same okay, shit. I love Eddie Bravo. Why? He's just, like I said, I'm not gay, but he is handsome. Like yesterday, we're taking photos together. My band was on his back. I was like, he was so, I'm attracted so, to Eddie Bravo. We just keep coming back here. No, I'm like, not going to lie. It's, it's, like, it's like when uh famous basketball player said he was attracted to... Uh, Said he was attracted to uh, Kevin Brady. I'm attracted to A. Bravo. Have so, you been so gay? Check this, check. I'm becoming gay right now. So okay, so that's what I'm saying. I was gonna ask, like maybe you are, maybe you are gay. Which is, I'm actually gay right now. Yeah, it's, no, it's dope. Okay, Thanks for Alex Jones Thanks came out on our uh, on our podcast. Do you think it could Do, be because of the? Uh, Want to have sex with walruses? Who came up with this? The is Maverick. This like, is this like the Jaybird from fucking? Uh, it's actually a fifth dimensional clockwork. No, but, 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 but let's be serious. Where did this come up with? Is this is this like from? Uh, What's the name of that movie where they have the armored vehicles? It's a police state. Nah, know. this was, uh, I have a parrot named Maverick and uh, we named the brand after him and this was a cool representation of him. So this isn't a Hunger Games symbol? No. Where'd you get a cool company to make this? Yeah, the, shout out to these guys' company. I uh, LoganBall.com slash shop. Forgot the name. <laughs> I but, uh, they, 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 uh, they, yeah, they built the whole set. It was 90K. I want like a possum. Why? I don't know. It'd be stupid. Hey, Alex, you want to hear something? Yeah. Our dog got eaten by coyotes the other night. They do that. They lure them like, like gangsters. Like, oh, hang out with us. And they lead them over. Like, who's our friend? And the, they kill exactly. Them. The female, one of the head female coyotes in the pack will lure I've seen it. a neighborhood dog while he's in heat to come and go and mate with her. And then the males will gang up on the dog and kill him. Granted, that's how they do the That's Kong. a conspiracy theory. We're no. supposed to question things, but coyotes are setting up your lab with a whore to get eaten by her boyfriend. <laughs> and she, uh, yeah, that how gangster are those freaking our, dogs? Our coyote, the one that killed Kong, jumped right over the fence and came and snagged him like a little toy and carried him out. What kind of dog was that? A Pomeranian. No Pom. So you should get a bow. So it's legal. <laughs> you should go into the jungle and kill every goddamn one of those things. That's metaphysical. You should take a lightweight 20, 20 pull, 30 pound pull bow. We haven't thought about anything like that. None of that has come up. Retribution is the last hey, thing on our mind. Logan, Alex. if you want me to come here and hunt that dog, that cow down, I will come here with bows. We will hunt that son, like predator, man. Like I'll have a minigun. Like, I appreciate that, Alex. Now I think, uh, I think we got it taken care of. Suppose what are you going to do to that? You going to get that cow? Hmm? No, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways. Helicopter gunships. <laughs> <laughs> AC-130. AC we buy an Apache. It actually be. It actually be no, the cows are bad news, man. Have you, where are you based? I'm based in Austin, Texas. What a city. Oh, so you are based there. So wait, people still talk shit to you in Austin? No, most people are fans, but like, I can never turn my back to a door. That's when they like slap me in the back of the head. You're talking about that happened to That's you happened? Guys. Yeah, that happened a lot. Yeah. What restaurant were you at that that happened? Well, it, uh, I was at Lucy's like three weeks ago. Is that a barbecue joint? Uh, it's, it's, it's like chicken and oysters and stuff. Joe Rogan had invited me to dinner before he did his comedy show. We went. My wife didn't want a steak at the steakhouse. She didn't like her lobster little things or whatever. She goes, I want to go to Lucy's and get a beer and get oysters. So we go in. We sit down at the bar. And the guy comes, comes in, like says he's going to kick my ass. And that, that's basically what happened. And then I stood up to him and they edited the video. What happens then? Like, have you ever actually gotten into a physical altercation? No. Why not? With leftists, it's usually all talk. 
You're scared. You scare me, bro. Not not me, but like like you. You're a big presence, and when you get fired up, dude, a lot of times that bark pushes people. Oh. Like he's a fucking firestorm, bro. You guys are bigger than me. Yeah, but like I said before, we're, we're kind of pussies, bro. I mean, honestly, dude, like I. Well, no. When some guy says, "I'm gonna get you," I'm waiting for you, and then he's waiting at the door. I finally go, "Fuck you, let's go." I mean, I can't help it. It's like he's been there three times saying he's gonna kick my ass, he's gonna fucking get me, and then he's waiting. And I was like, "Well, let's go, motherfucker." Yeah, I just saw you knock yeah. yourself out like five times here. Yeah. You, you no, but I mean, it's face. not some tough guy deal. It's like he's waiting at the door, glaring with his fist so ready. I'm like, good, "Let's Alex? fucking go." Let me tell you something. You want to get back on the platform? You want to get back on Google Preferred? You're gonna get in a fight with a stranger. <laughs> I think what he's doing is saying you got to beat the shit out of somebody. Should we get AJ? I'm not saying we, it, but that's what I'm saying. Should we get AJ on the undercard? <laughs> what if we oh. get Alex Jones versus uh, AOC on the undercard? <laughs> I would definitely tie both my hands behind my back and fight AOC. I'd come know. up and knee her hey, right Alex. <laughs> well, uh, uh, the level of fucks that you give has clearly been reduced to zero. Like, you still say things that, like, in L.A., Anyways, like we, I mean, all over the world, you just, you quite honestly, you can't say, especially as a public figure. What is it like, I wasn't like, supposed to like say? Like I've heard you say tranny. I've heard you say retarded. That's I've, partially just, some of you know, this stuff is just. Who are these people that tell us what words to, to his use? point, elsewhere in the country, some of the stuff you say is probably bad too. Here, you're, you're a fucking, you can't say shit, dude. So who are these tyrants in America that we don't have speech? They're on Twitter. No, you can look them up. Yeah, it's uh, Twitter police. Cancel culture. No, I know. Even like mainline liberals are like, what is this? <laughs> like, what what planet are we on? <laughs> I just, I, I would, I would reckon you will not find any social public figure, especially in my industry, just dishing out the, the words you're dishing out. So I'm. Is it because you've been to platform that you just don't care anymore? You're not worried Man, about answering since when to anyone in America, anymore? Since when in America can't I talk about what I want? No, it's not. Uh, it's just th sometimes the words that you choose. No, I know. I mean, how how is that? Like the comedians can be all raunchy and everything can be total porn on mainline. But then I'm sitting there saying mothers and fathers exist. So my God, you can't say that. No, it's not. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying some of the words you choose inherently have such a negative connotation that they offend a large group of people. What words are those? Tranny, retarded. Tranny's created the word tranny. Listen, I don't I don't, I don't know about and the then, origin and like of the retarded, word. I'm just saying what, that, mentally ill, low IQ? I mean, it becomes like this word, that word. Who is this group that tells me what word I can use? God, what No, 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 no one's, no, one's, no one's saying you can or can't, although I did say you just, it's its you, highly frowned upon. Here's the deal. You just the, said the magic words, but because you were telling me not to use them, it's okay. It's a priest class above all the terms. I just, um, uh, listen, I gotta, I gotta say this, not on all of it, because there are some things that I've, I've come around to, but I, I, we, we as a country are fucking pussies, dude. Like it, it, someone's driving it. I don't know if it's they or them or the government. But honestly, dude, like some of this shit, I fucking agree with you on, dude. Well, that's because you're I've, not a suppressed group. Like, no, let me be a. No, listen, like, I, yo, when I when I used to when I used to be fat, if someone said, "Hey, piggy, you want a piece of this pizza?" I would be like, "Damn, man, that's fuck. I should probably lose some weight." Someone said to me, "Hey, you fucking junkie, you want to come shoot some heroin at my house?" I would be like, "Damn, maybe I should stop doing." Like, I, I don't know. Maybe you're right, but like. But like at the same that's time, a, like those are both horrible comparisons. I think that's what, an extreme to, because yeah, like not everybody is white or the has same. the ch or you know, has hey, the hey, listen, that is, is, as Jimmy I'm, Savelle's I'm, son. God damn it! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> How dare you? All I'm asking is this: the all like, I'm not I'm not trying to correct you. Or I'm asking, you why have you thrown the wherewithal it. out the window? Because I never had the wherewithal. I mean, seriously, I've never. So had why not conform now? Conform to what? I don't know, Alex. You seem to be ridiculed and controversial. Like maybe go. Tell maybe me try to what to conform to. Society. What Islam cutting girls' clits off? World government? No, whoa, no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the 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 simple. And by the way, they're pretty simple. Are asks, they? Asks, because I watch you struggle into this mic like this. What I'm trying to <laughs> watch, 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 yeah, yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to. What I want to s It's true because, I mean, dude, previously he's we right, wouldn't, he's we wouldn't right. be having this so conversation like, right. before YouTube came along and started 
censoring people like crazy and like it's just YouTube bro it's it's just just trying to submit to them sure sure and it's a bunch of weird people at Google that make employees call them a dragonette and a beautiful (laughs) ornate building but listen it's like okay you're an ornate building to his his point Alex to his point I'm gonna gonna back you up on this and by the way both of my hold on both of my examples before were fucking were terrible because by the way those were both choices I made oh you should have code word and so no to to mark the time both of the examples I used were horrible because they were choices of mine to either get fat or be up. So whatever, ignore those, all right? That was a, a mistake and a bad example. But what I will say is, to his point, you use things that are eight generations ago gone. So, like, I don't want you to be on the cutting edge and not use terms that we're avoiding in L.A., but like, like I family guess, and woman and no, father. No, but to, I hear what he's no, saying. Now I'm too. using now you illegal can't, terms. Now you can't, you literally can't say anything now. And I agree that that's agree. wrong. But to his we point, like, to them. but to his point, like he's asking you why you feel it's still okay to use the word retarded. No. Like that's been uh, X'd out. Because I'm not submitting to thought police because we're bringing it forward to real free speech, the Renaissance. I, I, we asked the question earlier. I don't know if you got to it. How were you raised? Like what, what, what was like it? Cause that has a big influence on what we're talking about. You know, my parents were really nice to me all over the country and all over the world. And when I hit puberty at about 12 or 13, they just let me do whatever I wanted. Really? Yeah. You just grew a beard and said, fuck it. <laughs> no, but I mean, I did whatever I wanted to. And they weren't worried about it. I mean, but it was not about me. It's that dude, we have free speech. Like, were they similar to you? Or did they question? They question reality. I think my parents questioned the reality, but they just left me alone. Let me be myself. But all I'm doing is saying, I don't hate anybody, but it's okay to say men and women exist. It's okay to say there are two primary genders. It's okay to say that we have free speech in America. And everybody just gets this thing like, let's grovel the system. The system lets everybody have free speech online, create the internet. They go, oh, but if you don't do what we want, we'll take it away. Everyone wants the internet. Mainstream TV is not popular. Movies aren't popular. So they're, trying to make everybody like you that's popular submit to them and think because they gave you access to the stage, they're the leaders. They suck. No one likes the establishment. No Mm. one would watch them. Their whole world is making you bow to them to make you submit to them so they can play God. Fuck them. Oh, I kind of fuck with that, dude. I like, I like, he asked about your parents. One thing I grew up on other than being, taught by my parents was culture. And so I watched Chris Farley and he was fucking hilarious. And most of his jokes was around him being fat and people calling him fat. And it was funny. And it and was- now you can't do that because there's fat people. No, it's a fucking joke. We do what you want. It's America. Remember a free country. All right. Fuck yeah. But you can't. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, America. But we also, uh, fuck fuck yeah. yeah. But we also have. You know, making sure other people's pursuit of happiness isn't. That's the big thing that with, I'm saying. You know? Yeah, that's a, that's all I'm saying. And by the way, I'm not trying to like, I'm just, I'm asking what the, what the psyche is. I'm not bitching. I love it. Cause like, if we want to just go shoot guns around our house outside, like there's people next door to no, us. No, I get it. I want to invite you guys to Austin. Let's go shoot guns. I want to. Yeah. I'll fly I, you guys I, in. I'll shoot a gun. I, <laughs> we'll it's it. just, it's, it's just. By really, the way, we're good. We'll go to that next podcast late. They want to keep me. Who it's, is it? Joey who? Diaz. Who? I love Joey Diaz. Oh, yeah. Us oh, yeah. Too. He's, he's tight. Look up Joey Diaz. Yeah, who is that? Yo, who? But so, y'all like gangsters so to, go there. I, we're good. We're good. Oh, by the way, I got brown. Know 30 minutes I got late. brown alcohol showing up right now, by the way. I want that pizza. Where is that? It's on its way. Hey, should yeah. we, hey, should oh, we no, go? No, 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 no. That's I, I couldn't wait, say can I, can I, better Wait, myself. can I? Can I? I want to fuck this last shit up. Uh, we got time, man. I just, he said he said shooting guns and and and, but like at the same point, like. Ah, fuck. No, this do is, it. I, no, I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. This yeah. will be a day. No, I'm scared life. shitless. Dude, bro. I will take you hunting baby elephants. It's not that. It, we no, chase them by the elephants. Oh, That's no. a joke. No, I know. Uh, I, I'm sure it is. Uh, uh, no, he says, I, I, no, I, 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 no, yeah, don't know the secret. We're hunting baby elephants. That's, That's a, a heavy pour you got there. I'm I'm less scared Here, than catch. him to say shit. <laughs> catch. Go ahead, toss it. Go ahead. Hey, fuck. Yeah. Woo. I knew he played football. Some breakaways. You please. ever see me catch something before? I usually drop. That it, was right? amazing. Yeah, well. he, he tried. Mike tried to do something quick today, and I and I told him never do anything involving speed ever again. Dude, did you see this guy? He's a fucking monster. He's going, he's going in. Yo, listen, listen. He's, he's also gone too. Listen, I. A part of me, dude, like. Ah, I want to be so nice and inclusive, bro. But I also just want to like have fun, dude, and like. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but that's I also- the big thing. Yo, but I wonder if it's like a, 
massive public sentiment shift about empathy like suddenly everyone is more conscious of empathy i think i i feel like that's what it boils down to because like why why do we check ourselves right it's not it's not because we like it's it's because we are now more conscious that the things we say may hurt other people that aren't us and we may be completely unaware of i think part of it i think that's spot on i think also building on that there's um like these these new things popping up like transgender, like that's a new topic yeah, new. in the, in the, you know, with how loud it is. So like these things are popping up. It's very new. So I think the extreme is also those people can be very like judgmental and very aggressive with their beliefs too. So it's like being empathetic, but then not just giving them all your power, not being like, Hey, sorry for everything. It's like, there's a conversation that's created and a balance, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a balance. But yeah. I think where people are going wrong with censorship, it's like, you can't say anything. You can't even, you know, bring up the conversation. You can't make the jokes. And like, yeah, well, it, well, here's the other thing. You can. You just got to live with the consequences. You very well can. True. You just have to live with the consequences. True. The question, and, yeah, Mike, and, and, and I think some of those consequences are usually, uh, what's the, what's the phrase here? Fair. No, representative of the offense. Oh, yes. My, my question to you is this, how much censorship and how much slowing down how should I say this? To, what I, how much of that? How much of that makes you not you anymore? Yeah, Dude, that's a question. I'm not saying it as a statement. I'm saying it as a question. Like how much of? Because me and you, dude, I know you a, a lot, and I know you're a fucking you're a fucking energetic like an, pers- like an energetic person, like me and Alex. And when I see you like this. So anyways, so I was out there and when I went to sit, what time did he think I was supposed to you go, you go. And I saw him and I went up to him and I said, uh, what I want. Uh, it's like watching a man be punched in the dick. Or, or a balloon be deflated. Or have his, have his dick and taken so away. Like, and yeah. so it's like, fuck, bro. Like this <laughs> with one hand. Fuck. <laughs> now I know. In you know who gets more mad, but than I me? think that's yo. That's the time we live in, and yeah. we gotta accept it, yeah. and we gotta also realize that I'm yo, optimistic. we're still kicking, bro. We I, got we impulsive. Still kicking. We out here with number one pockets of our yeah. yes, in fact, and we got a, we Alex st- Jones on, and he's gone. We still no, he's coming back right okay, now. Okay, here he is. By the way, I can leave in ten minutes. We're leaving five hours. What do you guys? Want? All right, yo, listen. No, let's, get to let's do, do let's do audio minutes. only. We'll do yeah. ten. We'll leave. Yeah, I want to come hang out. I want you guys to come whenever you fucking want. Austin better. I'll fly you guys in. What's the best barbecue in Austin again? They got two, two, three. They got a lot of good places. Ooh. Anything from L- places outside Austin are good, like Elgin, stuff right. like that. Listen, listen. Hey, call them and let them know we'll be there. Call, call them and let them know. <laughs> Did everyone's thing just cut out? Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking down. Brad, can all you still right, hear whatever. us? Audio. Whatever you do, don't visit Infowars. Can you still hear us? All right, all right. I can't, I can't hear anything. Um, yeah. Yo, let's go to the audio only. Um, you got hey, more? Logan, seriously. I'm going to come back out and see you take you out to dinner. All right. Or come to Austin. I'm down. I'm done. Austin I'm very done. better, yeah. Yo, Alex Jones, thank you for coming on Impulsive. Me, me and Logan, like, agree to get married. <laughs> You might be you might be gay man, which is I dope. Think I am right. Which is I, fine. I, which is where fine. where is the where is the, the big man? Only when the liquor's Oh, uh, Evan. Yeah, I think he left. Um, you can find Alex Jones on social media nowhere. Thank you for watching Impulsive, the and number by, one podcast. Well, let's finish the up. And seriously, no, infowars.com, uh, newswars.com, prisonplanet.com. Paul Watson's done his own thing now. It's uh summit.news. So we're doing a lot of stuff, man. It's all there, it's happening. By the way, thank you to Jed, our PR guy, for watching this entire episode uh, yeah, and, shout and out making Jed. sure that fucking nothing bad went out. Thanks, we, Jed. We love you, Jed. Love you, Jed. <laughs> but I don't want to leave till the pizza gets here. No, the no, pizza's coming. Audio only right now. Stick around. Spotify, don't fucking leave. We love you. Peace. <laughs> what happened on Joe Rogan's podcast? You tore your bicep? It was already torn. Then I stumbled and fell down as I was drunk. He grabbed my arm and it fully blew. But I got surgery. <laughs> oh, no. Bro.